Ladies and gentlemen, enjoy the finals. Nepal versus PNG Beach को मैच के ही वीर मासूम शुरू होना गोई हुआ है कुछ और दुबई देश को नेशनल एंथम बजी सके कुछ और नेपाली अब वो फर्स्ट बैटिंग गोल देश को तीस स्कोर सही सुरक्षित रहा है सुरक्षित स्कोर बनने तब अब नशा की देना तो अब फर्स्ट बैटिंग जून यो पीस में दिख रहे हैं जो 200 और � पर स्टार्ट तो पायरेशन तर तेरे बिग स्कोर में कॉन्वर्ट करना सके रहेगा सेन सम्भव तो आज उनको लाइक राम रोधी रही था अमी उनको पहले सेंसरी जून ईपीएल में यही मैदान में बने हुए थे आज सम्भव तो इंटरनेशनल करियर को पहले सेंसरी देखने आशा करना सकते हैं तब पहला पर्सनली जाए जून वर्ल्ड कप क्वालिफायर्स उनका होम सीरीज देरी स्टेक्स आई सही ना बनाने वाला होम सीरीज मात्रा भाई को नाले से किस तो प्रेशर ना होने पर नहीं हो। आस्था थैंक यू वेरी मच। आई मीन इन्स ब्रेक में फिर यहाँ संग बैठने से। थैंक यू। नेपाल वर्सेस पीएनजी वीज को ट्राई नेशन टी ट्वेंटी सीरीज को फाइनल खेल होना गोई रहा है को सर टीयू स्टेडियम में कहीं वेर पची शुरू हुदे सा समूह चरण का दुबई खेल में नेपाल वीज़ ये बॉय को थियो पहले खेल में पंद्रह रन कोर दूसरों खेल में साढ़े तीस रन को जीत हाथ पारे को थियो नेपाली � Well, a very good afternoon. Thank you, Sabina. And you're very welcome along to today's coverage. You've just seen all the formalities, the national anthems. We've had six matches so far in this SkyExchange.net Nepal Tri-Nation Series powered by Daffa News. The six group matches yielded 2,059 runs, 84 wickets, 83 sixes, 12 fifties, and that one magnificent century from defender Singh Iri. But there can only be one champion. So who's it going to be? that will get their hands on this fantastic trophy. Will it be the hosts, Nepal? They've been perfect through the group stages. Four from four, and they've played some really good cricket. Or will Papua New Guinea be able to spring the upset? I think their head coach, Carl Sandri, and his backroom staff are actually quietly confident. They, of course, won the ODI series, and could you imagine they came here and not just took away the ODI series, but took away this beautiful SkyExchange.net Nepal Tri-Nation Series trophy. Andrew Leonard here with you. As always, I've got Paramba Tahal with me to start this morning. Good afternoon to you, Paramba. Set it up for a grand final and a wonderful atmosphere in store. Yet another beautiful day for cricket. International T20 series ends here, but crowd is only building up right now at the TU grounds in Kirtipur. Andrew, changes in the team, how do you assess it? Yeah, just the one change, in fact, between the two 11s, and that one's been enforced by injury. I need to give you an update on Kamal Singhari's well-being. He did sadly break a bone in his upper body, in his, his right shoulder, I believe it was. His left shoulder, in fact, let me correct myself. Good news, though. Successful surgery, not as bad as first feared. So Sampal Kami comes in for him, for Papua New Guinea. They have remained unchanged, and it's a big, big crowd brewing. Full side, they lost the toss. Four of the six tosses in the group stages decided to field first. The only two that went against that was Malaysia. So no surprise to see Asad Vala decide to bowl first. And maybe that will just even the scales a touch. PNG, of course, will be full of confidence having chased down 196 against Malaysia. They ended up with 199 for two, their highest ever chase, their third highest total ever. So just maybe they can restrict Nepal to anything under 200. We could see a big upset but Kushal Bertel after such a flying start to his international career as he shake his opening partner and then the informed duo of Rohit Powdell and defender Singh Iri, who no doubt will see it numbers three and four the host will be confident of posting a big total Papua New Guinea should be very confident after that impressive win against Malaysia that cheese must have boosted the confidence won just one match and secured their spot in the final. Yeah, and I think deservedly so. Credit to Malaysia, the way they played throughout this tri-series, but I think PNG clearly the second best side here. And as our umpires just count down the final seconds, that's Vinay Kumar Jha, who's standing at the Chobar end of the ground. And we've got Buddy Pradhan alongside him. He's at square leg. Right now, the third umpire today, Durga Subedi, rounding out the home trio of umpires, all overseen by the ICC match referee from Sri Lanka, that's Wendell Lebroy, who's had 
a long stint he's been doing the Cricket World Cup League 2 series in the UAE so I'd say he'll get a well deserved rest after this but here we go we're all set for a grand final the grandest of occasions seventh of seven matches will decide the champion it's Kamea to open the bowling he'll ball to Kushal Bertel an immediate swing and a miss attempting to drive off balance Kamea getting that natural angle across that causes right-handers issues early also the good bounce of the pitch Andrew early in the morning the first delivery outer wanted to slash it but failed to make the connection Kushar Vulto aiming to go from the first delivery of the over and if you can do your maths 2059 runs in 12 completed innings that run rate has been up around nine pushing up towards ten and over and runs have come a plenty this one not out of the middle of the bat but i'm sure it'll run away for four the outfield is rapid and up in the hardcore section of the crowd they're already dancing that's a nice start albeit a little fortuitously in the air in the first boundary of the final goes into the next side and Kushal Hutzel makes no mistake makes the connection this time on the first ball and there she goes for a boundary just two fielders allowed outside the circle at this stage of the game Choice, chosen to go with a split field, a deep backward square leg, and the third man in place, so one fielder on each side. Imagine that the left arm bowler will try to angle it across, bring that slip into play. That's exactly what he's doing, and a big swing and a miss. Bertel, he loves going from the off, just needs to be a little cautious as well. Did actually see a no ball signal. We missed that, so that was a free hit. That's why he was playing such an extravagant shot. Missed that free hit, but if our scorers are right, Bertel through the kitchen sink at it rightly. It was indeed a no ball. Apologies for missing that. So a big free hit was missed. Going to be more runs into the leg side, but there's protection out there at deep backward square leg he's not going to cut it off he's positioned a little strangely I thought he was squarer at first he's almost more like a fine leg two boundaries in the opening over the perfect start for Kushal Bertel a confident looking shot this time into the pads and smashes it into the leg side the Fulza how, how do you assess the outfield this time well, he's in no man's land isn't he he's, he's not at fine leg and he's not at deep backward square leg he's in a, a really strange position look at this we knew it would be the biggest crowd of the week and the fans they're holding up their tickets they're saying please mr policeman i've paid my 150 rupees let me in oh more runs what an atmosphere we're gonna have here if kushal bertel keeps going like that three boundaries in the opening over to go alongside the no ball 13 runs already from it and the youngster kamea who's only made his debut a matter of days ago is going to be feeling the pressure in a big way the best of the three boundaries this one beautiful shot that finds the cap great way to begin this final match for nepal Kushal Vurtel is on song. Yeah, and big changes in the field as well because the slip has come out of place. Uh, deep backward square leg does finally go out. Fine leg comes up into the circle. The slip's gone to mid wicket. And already a little bit of the panic stations from Papua New Guinea. It might just be the first over. You can see fine leg up into the circle. And it'll be worked out to deep backward square leg. So that'll just be one. That's probably a more regulation field, you'd imagine, at this stage for a left armour. But a perfect start for Kushal Bertel. There will have been a few nerves despite the winning habit that the Nepali side have got into. And we'll bring Ashif Sheikh on to strike. Great sensible cricket out there as well by Kushal Bertel. Takes a single after those boundaries. Rotating the strike and running between the wickets. So crucial in this format of the game. Yeah, Asif Sheikh's had a good series. Four innings, 156 runs. 
150 and his runs coming at a strike rate of 140 which is really healthy a beautiful technique keep your eyes on that throughout this power plate end of the first over it's 14 for none Cool bus ne Sprite kyun nahi ho Cool bus ne ho Bravo Bank The reason for your success Jagdamba Super Sign tha Galva Plus jasta pata Jeevan bhar ko bharosa Jagdamba Super Sign tha Galva Plus jasta pata Jeevan bhar ko bharosa SkyExchange.net Nepal Tri Nation Series final Powered by Daffa News, of course, as well. And what an occasion we have. The crowd are simply flooding into the ground. Chad Soper is going to open the bowling, but he's going to be opening the bowling to a man who looks on a mission today, Kushal Bertel. Such a good start. Look at the fans. They are literally flooding in, aren't they? Going to throng this oval. Soper's medium pace will have a big task at hand. It's the, in fact, the gates. <laughs> Looks like the gate has broken down. Yeah, just some keen fans trying to get in. Lovely to see them getting in to enjoy the action. And we're going to have plenty of action to enjoy, no doubt about that. I reckon we'll have a, something close to a capacity crowd here today. Buds on the pad. Soper is interested. And Buddy Pradhan is unmoved. Kushal Bertel was a long way down the wicket. But this looked pretty straight. What did you feel? It was probably missing the wicket and the height factor as well, Andre, out there. As Kushal was dancing down the track, it was probably going down the leg, and it was way above these stumps as well. This was pretty close. The fact he's got down the track has saved him. Bertel looking for big hits everywhere. Just needs to not get carried away with the crowd. Such a flood and a throng of people coming in. I think we're in for a very special atmosphere here today. Think of all the fans enjoying their seats on the grass bench. Might have to see if I'll get up there later on this afternoon. It'd be chaos. Good stuff from Soper. Good tight start. Dots. We're just building the pressure, and he sense any time you bowl dots to Kushal Bertel, there tends to be a big, big shot attempted. It's a great comeback from PNG after that first over, which went for 14 runs. Four dots in succession in T20 internationals. Ideal thing that you'd want as a bowling side. Not so much running about right now. Inside edge, really good tight stuff from Soper. He's been asked to perform this role now again. For the second match in a row, opening the bowling. Usually in ODI cricket, he'd bowl in the middle overs in particular, but with the issues with the spinners that Papua New Guinea have experienced. Look at the number of fans all thronging to get their 150 rupees paid. That's a work day, it's a Monday. <laughs> Imagine it was a Saturday, Baramba. The ardent followers of this beautiful sport, people love their cricket in Nepal. We're only into the first hour. Brilliant over. Exceptional. Just one run coming from it, and that's just silenced the home crowd a little bit. Two overs gone. 15 for none. Bidis Bata, I am Igareko Paisa, Sida Itapaiko mobile money in a minute. Aplo mobile Nikalos, I am a pay download Garnos. Anikar Basi Basi, Aplo a comprap the Garnos. Aba, I am Igaro. I am a pay my prap the Garo? Sajile. Udaipur ko sundunga baata tayyar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Apollo Paints ko kune kune energy ko store mal gaya. Apollo man parne ram. Thanos. Mero hero super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle hero super splendor. So 
Kamea will continue and was this a chance down the leg side I'm not sure whether it was bat or possibly off the hip of Bertel but if Simon Atai has dropped a catch he hasn't is what Vinay Kumar Jazz says I thought it came off the hip at first probably off the thigh pad he should have stopped it two leg buys to the total there was a certain deviation in the ball play yeah really good umpiring decision this and Simon Atai will breathe a little bit of a sigh of relief as well because it's clearly come off the the hip which has that extended thigh pad that Bertel is wearing short ball good pace as well given as the one for the over it's an aggressive young cricketer Simao Kamea and one of the only sort of young talents that we've seen from Papua New Guinea his international debut came in a series he's got something about him he's got a bit of pace and a bit of bite well Kushal wanted to pull that for a boundary but He's not been able to make those connections, except for the three boundaries in the first over. Nepal have not produced anything towards the fence. Short again, and he's getting real pace and bounce and a bit of lift. This looks like a very good batting wicket again. You can see the consistency of the bounce. It's coming through nicely. But Kamea, he's bending his back. He's getting good reward. It was there to be hit one more time. Kushal does not make that connection. He has to be careful here, though. Nepal would not want to lose early wickets. The skip out there, Sandeep Lamichani. Big swing and a miss. Beautifully bowled, this Kamea. He's yet to take an international wicket. Made his ODI and his T20I debut here in Kathmandu, and he's just 20 years of age. This is a bowler for the future. Look at this great pace and a bit of movement. One more time tries to hit that delivery for a boundary. Brilliant comeback after that first expensive over. PNG have not conceded much in the last two. And here, this over is building up one more time. The pressure is on Nepal. It's more like a controlled shot. Bertel, a good diving stop. I think it was CJ Amini, wasn't it? A backward point. He's been outstanding in this series. And there it is, Chad <laughs> He's got the camera on the camera, doesn't he? The former Australian test cricketer, the one test wonder. He's just showing Carl Sandry that. Look, mate, I can, I can take a photo of the camera as well. Hook shot, this is going to be runs and it's going to be six of them. The first maximum right up towards our commentary position. Just the incorrect line this time. Don't mind the bouncer again from Kamea. But as he shake gets off the mark with a six and it's a very impressive stroke. A much needed six out there. It was Hughes. The ideal connection, but she still went for the maximum runs. Nepal, end of the third over, 24 runs for the loss of no wickets. Chad Soper continues to cause problems and seamers are just finding a bit of life particularly from what i would describe as a back of a length anything full has been punished or anything too short but if you get on that sort of back of a length not quite as full as a good length it's just doing something the key here for nepal would be not to lose any wicket in the power play Soper's just probing away isn't he Wonder will Bertel maybe look to use his feet, look to come down the track target over the offside. All five fielders in the offside, they're up in the ring. Maybe that's an option long on and deep back with square leg out. Likes taking those rests, Kushal. <laughs> so, though, well bowled. 
so far. He's picked up lots penetration. Here's Durga Subedi just doing his work as the third umpire. Umpires have done a really good job on the whole all around. So I have you, Andrew. Thank you for him. That's very kind of him. Big swing and real fortune. You have to feel for Chad Soper here because he's eight fourth and he's frustrated Kushal Bertel. He's ended up playing an ugly swipe across the line, trying to target. I don't know where he's trying to hit this to count corner. So nearly bowls. A while back, we were talking about the affinity for taking risks. Kushal likes making those efforts a much needed boundary for Nepal. Lovely to see all the VIPs in as well. Introduced to some Nepali uh, singers and a little bit of Bollywood glamour with us today as well. We'll hear more about that later. Don't want to spoil the surprise on you, Paramba. But yeah, there's something about a final, isn't there? There's the extra nerves, the extra anticipation. Keep going, buddy! Keep going, what an occasion we have here. Gonna need a change in the ball. I think maybe whatever happened, it just got an impact that's taken it out of shape. So, Woody Pradhan says that's the one. Happy with this one. We'll play on. Probably was a bit of damage because of the earlier six. Yeah, possibly. But I'm surprised if Soper or one of the bowlers wouldn't have mentioned that to the umpires. They would have liked. Nice fresh new ball to try and generate some movement off the seam in particular, which we've seen Soper do effectively. Slower ball heaved into the leg side. There's protection out there. So it'll just be a single, but Bertel almost looks to be overhitting, trying to hit a boundary every ball. Have to be very sensible out here in the power play. Only two fielders outside the circle. Yeah, lovely to see the fans coming in. Just calling in to the boss there, wasn't she? Sorry, boss, I won't be in today. I'll, I'll see you tomorrow, okay? <laughs> Going to be a single to close out the fourth over. Oh, the misfield nearly allows a second. We do finally get to the end of the fourth over. It's 32 for none. Keep going, Baras. Keep going, keep going, keep going boys! Udaipur ko sundhunga baata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. The TV is Baje RTR 204V. Introducing the TV is Baje RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko sundhunga baata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Rangin Manolos Afro Zindagi Apollo Pains Ko Satma. TU International Cricket Ground. We're in Kurdapur. 15 minutes outside of the city capital of Kathmandu. Beautiful scene. And probably one of the standout bowlers of the series for Papua New Guinea, Vagi Morea. He's going to come into the attack with his left arm. Medium pace. It's about lots of cutters and, and just reacted to the surfaces that have been batting friendly very cleverly hasn't he well the variations have been there from the png borders trying to confuse the batters with a mix of pace it's almost going to be standing room only when the fans complete and come in amazing to see such a crowd on what i've dubbed magic monday for this final the SkyExchange.net Nepal Tri Nation series, powered by Daffa News. Eleven months ago, they got their hands on the trophy under the tutelage of Dav Watmore, the former head coach. It's a new era, it's a new dynasty for Nepali cricket. Will Tabudu Dasanayaka be able to enjoy the same feeling of getting his hands on a trophy very early in his second tenure as a head coach? Look at the fans all coming in. Be a great atmosphere, a great day out. Can't wait to get up and join them. Can't think of a better way to spend the money. Probably being the best day's weather as well. 28 degrees, the sun has come and joined us for the party. The stage is set. We can only expect the weather to get better today. And some brilliant cricket in the middle of the view park. 
Oh, yeah. That's exactly nice what Maria has done so cleverly. He's not giving the batters any pace to work with. Singles are fine with the way the scores have been going here at this round. He's not giving boundary hitting options. Change of gloves for Kushal. Probably was wet with the sweat of that. Definitely the warmest day of the two weeks or so that I've been here. And the best cricketing weather of the week comes for the final, which is good to see. Can Bertel use the new gloves? It's a good effect. It's going to get reward here into the leg side. Will it be four? It's going to be. Fielder couldn't cut that off. Tried his hardest, did Semo Kamea, but just ramped over his head. Four to the total, and Bertel still hasn't got many out of the middle, but he continues to score. Another effort earlier in the same zone. It was a six this time, two runs less. What does the business for Nepal? into the sky has he got enough of this that's the question it's gone aerially but it's gone straight to the fielder a deep backward square leg Kushal Bertel today he just couldn't find the middle of the bat he really was trying and he's ended up holding out to Kabu of Aggie Morea that's good reward for the left armor the first wicket falls in the fifth over wanted to go thick and hard at it was not being able to make that very much required connection. Looked a bit rusty early on as well. Yeah, ended up being a pretty simple catch held by Legacy Aka and a deep backward square leg, although it only just put on. First wicket falls. Bertel gone for 25. It's 37 for one. Bhir tistei, garmi tistei. Hey, boy. Is this hai na? Is this chalo na? Uncle, cool bus ne ho. Sprite pyu ne ho, cool bus ne ho. Bank. He's at number three, this new role in the T20I side. One he's responded to really nicely. They're going to try the quick single, and it's a wild throw from the short fine leg fielder. They'll get through to get Paddle off the mark. The crowd beginning to make some noise for the home team. If you are around Kirtipur, this this massive opportunity of enjoying cricket on this beautiful day still time to get on down tickets on the gate 150 rupees this move for powdle at number three has been inspired though beautifully bowled again it's another change of pace another cutter and it goes in between the bat and pad of shake on that back of a length well bowled five overs gone we'll have a commentary change it's 38 for one विदेश बटा आईएमई गरे को पैसा सीधे ही तपाईं को मोबाइल मलिन मिल्छ। आपनो मोबाइल निकालनुस, आईएमई पे डाउनलोड गर्नुस, अनि घर बसी बसी आपनो रकम प्राप्त। Thirty eight is the score. What Nepal managed of the first five overs. Alongside me in the commentary box is Ajaz. Ajaz, a very good afternoon. Yes, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Massive day, final fight or a final battle. Final fight or the final battle is going here at TU ground in front of a massive crowd. We're loving these moments where PNG and uh, Nepal, they're all fighting together to get this uh, crown. And uh, let's see so far, good cricket. Riley Hickory has been brought into the attack. Bowling to Rohit Baudel. And Riley Hickory has been very, very economical compared to other bowlers. He bowls a lot of slow deliveries. The cutters, 
that has to be the idea. I think PNG would be happy. They conceded 14 runs in the first over. Now it's 39 for one after 5.1, just over 7.5 and over. I think they'd be very happy. And this, look at the scenes, the electrifying atmosphere here at TU Grounds. The biggest match, the biggest crowd goes after it this time. Asif Sheikh did not judge it to perfection, but luckily for him, the ball falls in, falls in no man's land and Turin's taken easily. Yes, uh, then Ventai, the power play is on, the last over the power play. That's why you have to see such kind of shot. It's gone high, mistimed. The other the fielder was at mid off. He tried his really best to go underneath up the ball, but couldn't do so. So, value runs. And I think so that uh, he's just in search of ball, that where the ball is gone. Never looked like catching it, isn't it? Seema Kamea. Likes of Charles Amini probably would have been a catch and second wicket for Papua New Guinea. Remember, this is the final match. This is the final match. 41 for one. Slow run again. This time, very well timed. Asif Sheikh. And a bit of fumble will allow them to come back for the second run. But Sachin, whenever you're playing a big game like final, you may make uh, such sort of mistakes because. It's a pressure. It's all about pressure. How you've been handling it. Because the final game, the pressure is there. But I think so to me. Nepal batting first here. He's doing a good job though that uh, we have seen. PNG chasing good to targets here. Can't agree more. This has been a high scoring tournament, isn't it? Apart from that match where Nepal easily defe defeated Malaysia in the 13th over. This has been a high scoring contest. It has been a high scoring Tri Nation series. What a series this has been. Crowd coming in numbers. It's almost a jam packed ground here today. The stands are now full. Remember, this is not a weekend. It is a weekday. It's Monday. It's the second day of the week in this part of the world. And 44 for one. Now, crowd going Nepal, Nepal. If you're around Kirtipur, I bet you'd not want to miss the scenes. He's now being too predictable. In fact, this is a catch. This is the second wicket fallen. Rohit Powdell falls in a manner which you would not have thought he would fall. Yes, unlucky. The thinking was okay, but he couldn't find the gap at that time. We're just going over the mid short fine leg fielder. Just not been uh, able to keep the ball down. And Marty should have played more forcefully. Rohit uh, goes for two in just three deliveries. So. Nepal two down. So we can see in the replay. This is unlucky for Roy Potter. The idea was right, as Ashash mentioned. All he had to do was just go over the fielder there at short third man. And second wicket has fallen for Nepal for 44 runs. Follow friends to Pune Pune Energy Pro Store Magara. Afro and one for Nevan. Thanos. Vidya Swata IME Gare ko paisa sidhe hi tapai ko mobile mali ne milche. Apna mobile nikalos, IME pe download karnos. Ani ghar basi basi apna rakam prapta karnos. Aba IME garo. IME pe ma prapta garo. Sajil lay. Udaipur ko chundunga baata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. The team is Baje R T R two hundred. Picked up that important wicket of Rohit Powdell, and comes in who? Comes in who? It's Dipendra Singh Aidi, the centurion of the previous match. Fifty-seven balls, hundred and ten runs, the highest scorer, and straight away goes down the ground. Things for a single. He's very quick. We mentioned this. All tournament, and that's the end of the power play overs. Six overs gone, 44 for two are Nepal. Cool bus neho. Sprite puneho. Cool bus neho. Bravo Bank. 
a reason for your success. Udaipur ko sundunga baata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya Cement. Udaipur of SkyExchange.net Tri Nation Series, the finalist Nepal and Papua New Guinea contesting 44 for two are Nepal after being put into bat by Papua New Guinea. Asafala won the toss and decided to bowl again. Sema Kamiya will continue. Pull around this time. Bit of confusion at the center at one point, but eventually they come back for a second run. With Sachin, it's not 11 players. I think that 12th man is crowd for Nepal. That uh, almost 12 people they are playing in the center. And what is a good thing, but I had seen here in Nepal's batting, like out of 675 runs, like 410 runs have been scored in boundaries. So there was 62 boundaries and 27 sixes that has been hit by Nepal. The majority of them by this man on your screen, Dipendra Singh Aidi. Yes, exactly. I love his batting. Whenever he's on crease, Dipendra Singh and Asif, they, they've got a good partnerships. But trust me, Dipendra, if he stays here in the center, it will be his day like he is already scoring a century three figures. And uh, everything like a pressure game, a pressure situation, you will have to keep your nerves cool. I agree, and he is a very experienced lad. Cool customer as well, has a very cool he uh, head on his shoulders. And Seema Kamiya balling to Asif Sheikh, pulls this. After that initial first over, Ajaz Nepal seem to have lost a bit of momentum here. Nice boy! Yes, you know that uh, sometimes the home crowd gives you edge. But sometimes it's a sort of pressure for the local team, for, for the home side. You, you've been playing in front of the home crowd. You have to be more accurate. So this man on picture that you are watching on your monitors can be a chain factor for Nepal cricket. If you can score like 80, 90 runs in that like 40, 50 deliveries, Nepal surely be on the peak. So at the strike is Dibendra Tiger Raidi. A shot on this time. Good delivery by Sima Kamiya. Surprise Dibendra Singh Raidi is not expecting that. We'll have to applaud these Papua New Guinea bowlers. They brought the team back to the match. Yes, and wicket keeper. He was really eager to throw the ball to a known strike and where Dipendra was running. So they knew that what is the key wicket, the importance of his wicket. And I think so that Dipendra should be looking more aggressive, more confident and more watchful to me that whenever he's going to play, he should be making it sure that a shot should be there, 100%. 16 of 14, it has been a cautious start from Asif. I think Nepali batsman will expect a lot of slow deliveries. A wonderful, wonderful running. Tell in back team for, for the third run and they complete it. This Nepali side is one of the best running sides in the world. That's what I believe. I firmly believe and Dipendra Singh Adi is the quickest among them. And uh, mind it that while in such a huge number of crowds, you don't need yes and no. You will have to give gestures. Come back for the second because you can't hear. Look at that. They have just been watching against each other. And running between the wickets, so pressure of the misfield. That's why the misfield was happened there. Alertness, isn't it? Alertness. Yeah, there was misfield, there was fumble, but you have to realize it. And the reaction after that was superb. No! So seven runs coming off the third over of Sema Kamiya takes the score to 51 for two at the end of seven overs. Nepur ko sundunga baata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Mero hero super splendor. Nepal ko ati log priya motorcycle hero super splendor. Apollo friends ko kune kune na jeep store magera. Apollo and man par neeram. Thanos. Jagdamba super sign to tha Galva plus jasta pata. Jivan bhar ko bharu sa.
Look at the denseness of the crowd. They've come in numbers, thousands of people here. 7,000, I believe it is. Even more, probably. It'll be interesting to know the real attendance of this crowd. Wide. Norman Vanua now brought into the attack. He's been expensive with the ball. Yes, uh, starting off with an extra delivery. And look at that. This is really a massive one today. That, uh, Nepal is creating a history here. In this big game, the final, the crowd is being pumped up. Here's the Leicester players. The length is perfect this time. They'll test Nepali batsmen with a lot of slow deliveries. Pop on New Guinea ballers. And really good thinking from Norman. He has got this man. You can see on the picture. Almost at uh, cover side and one on long leg towards other side. So he pitched a back up length delivery. Slower one that might be. The batter can go for pulling and hooking that and can make mistake. Yeah, it is exactly the same. But this one was played towards the offside by Asif Sheikh. He's batting at 20 of 17 now, Asif Sheikh. Can get the flyer he'd have wanted and look at the scenes here beautiful drone shots you're watching us live on Kantibu TV and on our Facebook page as well beautiful scenes so if you are around Kittibur if you can make it I think the best thing to do in Kathmandu right now is to be on the stands here yes exactly this is pace pace at deep back foot point boundary earns here in Dependra Sangeri this is where he's been a top class batter who can pick up the cap quite nice and smoothly. This is the skills. Brilliant from the Bender Singh ID, and that is his strength. If there's anything short, even fractionally short and wide, he's going to lash onto it perfectly. He's got tremendous bat speed. And just as you thought that the crowd are going silent, the Bender Singh ID finishes the boundary. This time, pulls it. it. was a slow delivery, no pace on it whatsoever. Well, Dipendra, you beauty, 107, 110, I beg your pardon, it was his highest in this tri-nation, and he has got plenty of runs, 11 sixes and 14 boundaries. Dipendra has hit so far in this beautiful event, been making really a good hitter. Short one again, and it will be another wide of the over. Norman Vanua can't believe it. Please, Ambar. But then the Ambar had just given the single, it's wide. Let's have a look at this again. The yeah, idea was right. He was trying to surprise the winner saying, oh, yeah, I think that, that has been the plan, isn't it? Yes, you're right. He has got the main at long leg position for such kind of short, short delivery of back of length for any sort of hook or pull shot. Short again, no peace. Allowed by Norman Vanua for the winner saying, oh, to capitalize. So we'll just be a single. Well, uh, PNG ballers, you have to give credit to them because they have learned quite nice and smoothly, quickly, that on this surface, if you're bowling medium pace and pace, you will be badly hit. If you've been reducing your pace, it's slower one, Yorkers, you will surely earn respect here. Short, wide again. There was a fielder there, but lucky the ball did not carry. So, nine runs coming off the first over of Norman Vanua. Eight gone, 59 for two. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Videsh Bata, I am Igare Ko Paisa, Sida Hi Tapai Ko Mobile Mali Na Mil Chai. Aapno Mobile Nika Loos, IMI Pay Download Gar Noos. Ani Ghar Basi Basi, Aapno Rakam Prapta Gar Noos. Aba IMI Garo. IMI Pay Ma Prapta Garo? Saji Lai. cricket as expected we've had this massive number of people coming in the audience is now producing buzzing sound and not a single supporter of Papua New Guinea there they're all cheering for Nepal like another slow one from Korea they've come back for the second run appeal but I don't think Empire will be interested here 
They cannot believe it, but I think the batsmen got home. They're very, very quick. Murray are not being happy probably with the Empire. So, in the five matches played in this tournament, Defender Singh Aidi has 206 runs scored in this tournament. He's the highest run scorer with a highest score of 110 runs. 150 and 100 to his name. 11 sixes and 15 boundaries. Tony Ura following him. 190 runs to his name. Another wide this time. 190 runs to Tony Ura. Thanks to that massive 86 against Malaysia that took his team into the finals. Cesar. Yes, and uh, in the center, crowd is really cheering for Nepal. Really a big day. 4th April 2022. Played on the back with a proper triggering stroke. Back up! Asif Sheikh looking to anchor this innings, and he has that big hitting ability as well. Don't write off Asif Sheikh. Defenders in India always there. 6 of 6. Yes, and Asif. Uh, been into the partnership with different players of Nepal and I think so gonna be a good one here that they're uh, keeping their nerves cool shot. if interesting idea is better when the ball is closer to his body than when it's 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 far from his body while playing that cut shot Yes, I agree. And uh, one another keep thing going, which has been uh, very good from Dipendra Singh that earlier on he's playing his strokes along the ground. He's not allowing the ball to go up there because we did see that lots of times and he's going to cut the ball, flying towards covers. His bat is keeping the ball down. Now this is almost too predictable for Nepali batsmen. They're looking to ball only the slow deliveries. They're bowling those cutters. So they'll have to anticipate it in a similar manner and reciprocated as well. Yes, that's, you can see like a good thinking as a bowling unit that they should be not be more predictable to the batters in front of the batters. They should be pitching somewhere off the middle, slower one, Yorkers. They're asking and inviting Nepali batsmen to play across the line. Cross batted strokes because they're not allowing the pace to go underneath. So this is testing time, I think, for Nepali batsmen. Yes, yeah, such a new ride because I think that why they have been pitching off cutters and fuller end because back up line deliveries that has been badly dispatched to, to the boundaries, to the sixes. So it's really a good one. It's a bowling unit that you should be pitching it in front of the pads. Allow the batsmen to play across. So Kavu Morea is running 20 yards and bowling off spinners. Hello. <laughs> and he's bowling to somebody who has who's known for his off-spinning ability as well, Devendra Singh Aidi, has been quiet so far, 9 of 8. The delivery this time runs hard. This is what Devendra Singh Aidi does to you. Even if he fails to connect, he takes a single. Nine overs have gone, 69 for two. Rangin Manon hosts Afro Zindagi, Apollo Paints ko Satma. The TV is Baje RTR 204V. भीड़ दिसते गर्मी दिसते ए भाई एसी छैन एसी चलाउन अंकल कूल बस्ने हो स्प्राइट पिउने हो कूल बस्ने हो वनवा हैज बीन एक्सपेंसिव इन दिस टूर्नामेंट लुक एट दिस लुक एट दिस दिस इज स्टीलिंग सिंगल्स this is crime. This went straight to the fielder. George, they cannot believe it. How did they steal a single from just there? Uh oh. Well, that was a pretty dangerous attempt running between the wickets because direct hit and uh, the story would have been over. But uh, Nepal, I think they have been taking some chances here, trying their luck, and it's been in their favor. So much of pressure it puts, isn't it? Now they'll take singles very easily. For once you'll think that they've not been scoring boundaries. We've done well in containing them, no boundaries. But then you don't realize they can pick up 8, 9, 10, even 12 runs by just singles and doubles. That has been the hallmark of this team. Yes, but uh, I think to me at this stage, 
like a couple of forwards, they can really wait for big shots. As uh, the Pindras and Shul will be getting in form again. Not at all where the Pindras is intended. But I will collect his second boundary in this fashion. Wanted to take a single. Just flicking towards the leg side. The crowd will share everything. Runs are what matters no matter how they come. Yes, I to be not comfortable on that shot. He was going towards onside. Took the leading edge. Airborne couldn't save it. So boundary here at third man for the Pindra Singh. He approaches to 15. And I think so that he should be more careful because he edged that. Down the track this time. Much more conventional from, from the Pindra Singh ID. He's not happy. He wanted that gap. But they're relaxed. Very, very relaxed Nepali dugout. And uh, Sachin, this is only the way to play a good game of cricket. Be relaxed. Keep your nerves cool. Oh, Asif Sheikh is devastated to miss that. Is there to be hit? Yes. I think thinking was perfect. He wanted to go somewhere at deep mid-wicket. But unlucky that he couldn't middle it. But uh, one thing has been pretty sure, that crowd is loving every moment here. That batting, bowling, and I think so that if like they can keep wickets in hand for another three or four overs, like start from 14th over, the boom boom, the hitting, it should be massive. Oh, this has been timed perfectly, but the gap just not there. Eight runs coming off the 10th over. The score is now 77 for two. So Faras Karga, if he goes on the big screen, there will be a massive chair. Just as I said, people love him in this part of the world. Former Nepali captain, Nepali legend. The crowd see him. That is how much they love him. This man here to win this the final between Papua New Guinea and Nepal. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Papa Jeevan Bharko Bharosa Udaipur ko Sundunga Bata Tayar Gariye ko The Best Saurya Cement Mero Hero Super Splendor Mero Hero Kati Pyaro Arupani Hola Ramro Arupani Mere Hero Pyaro Pahadera Oh Ho Tarai Kati Sundar Ramro बाधावन कती हो कती हो देश ले हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नहीं प्यारो हमी माचा हीरो हमी माचा हीरो नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर प्रभु बैंक द रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस अपोलो फ्रेंड्स को कुने कुने नजीब को स्टोर मार गया रा आप लोग मन पर मेरा थैंक्स उदयपुर को सुंदरगा पाटा तैयार करिए को the best सौरिया सीमेंट विदेश बाटा आईएमई करे को पैसा सीधे ही तपाईं को मोबाइल मनी ने मिल्छ आपनो मोबाइल निकालोस आईएमई पे डाउनलोड करनोस अनि घर बसी बसी आपनो रकम प्राप्त करनोस अब आईएमई करों आईएमई पे मैं प्राप्त करों सजी ले जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा उदयपुर को सुंदरगा पाता तैयार करिए को the best सौरिया सिमेंट they won't be that disappointed. 77 for two. This has been a high scoring tournament. 
People coming in in numbers to witness their team Nepal play against Papua New Guinea. This is the final. And plenty of things we have in the VIP stands as well. Thank you, sir. Yeah, you're on the screen. Smile, please. Well, Sachin, considering the fact that PNG bat well and deep, Nepal must be looking somewhere in the zone of 200. Absolutely agree with you, Prarama, because this is 197 with 13 balls in spare. They've got their batting form back, Papua New Guinea. They're bowling really well as well. They're mixing up their deliveries. 7.7 is the current run rate. Riley Hickory is only given seven runs. Yes. I want make you run, kiss. I want make you run. Maybe see my ball winning. They're loving this. They want run face here the umbrellas are up it's a bright sunny day short of one just pretty early by Devendra Singh ID Took inside part of the bat just for a single there you are on the screen some dance move please Ten point two. Now Nepal will certainly look to accelerate from here. They have eight wickets in hand. They still have the likes of Young Adil, who's been a superstar. Abhi, abhi, abhi. Played a small cameo. Nice kiss. Match against Papua New Guinea. And he's now a superstar already, Pradamba. Well, what an announcement into international T20s. And tell about those massive sixes. He will come in handy at a very crucial time for Nepal. Sense Asif will go towards the leg side given there is no pace offered. Oh, no! Ah, this is close. Shakes the head directly there, umpire. Vinay Kumar Asif knows that this was close. No DRS out here for PNG in the replay. It was very close. Looked straight plumped. PNG would be disappointed with this decision. The umpire has yes, been of so. top quality in this series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The humans, isn't it? Riley Hickory has given away only eight runs. Much better plan bowling attack here. They're in the air. They cannot find the boundary nice yet. Shake now 28 of 27. In fact, 29 of 28. He needs to shift the gas here. Of 28 deliveries. The last ball. They think for the second run. They're very, very quick and they come back in a flash. Direct hit or a proper throw would have been close. I don't think Riley Hickory collected that properly. Asadwala having that conversation out there with the umpire. End of the 11th over. PNG are 80 runs. It looked very, very tight and close. One, another frame will be able to see. It was a diving effort. It was very, very close. I think it would have been very difficult for the umpire to judge it with naked eyes. Let's have a look at this again. Oh! This is close as well. Cannot believe it, Riley Akure. I swear the ball is hit the stumps, umpire. Not out, says the umpire. 82 for 2. Bravo Bank. A reason for your success. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jeevan Bharko Barosa. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus. Over by Captain Vala. 82 for 2 is now the score. Nepal have 50 for deliveries to go. They would want to reach anywhere near 190 to 200, Prarambha. I think even 200 is not safe. Well, the way PNG bat, and what a time to regain form for PNG batters. They've been smacking sixes for fun. Especially Tony Ura, isn't it? 86, a quick fire, 86. Including Captain Asadwala. 
very crucial innings in the match against, in, in fact, against Malaysia. As a shake, it's not been that fluent today with run making. This time he pulls it. In fact, has gone straight to the, into the hands. So Asif Sheikh's uncomfortable stay at the crease has come to an end. It's jubilation for PNG. What a time to get wicket. The PNG squad very happy with that. The partnership was building up. And Asif, just when he had to shift the gear, completely lost it. Tried to pull it, didn't make the connection, and straight to the filter. Pulled it, could not get over that fielder, and the plan has worked. He was there exactly for this dismissal, and his senior brother, Arif Sheikh. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. So Paras Harga having a bit of discussion with Andrew Leonard who is there with Paras Harga. The crowd see him. Enjoying this Monday's final between Nepal and Papua New Guinea. The Soma Kamiya picked up a wicket in the very first delivery of this over. The cut shot this time. Arif Sheikh straight away. No connection whatsoever. 82 for 3 still the score. Five bowlers used by PNG captain Vala. And Chat Sopa in his two overs has been very economic. Only four runs given away. Samuel Kamiya into his final over. One wicket to his name. Given away 28 runs. Making has been very difficult, and this time again, Sema Kamiya has got both the Sheikh brothers out in this over, his fourth over. There's pin drop silence in the crowd, and Arif Sheikh's very short stay at the crease has come to an end. Completely threw his wicket out there. Well placed Peter. And PNG must be very happy with the way things have gone for them after winning the toss, putting Nepal into bat first, and the captain Asafala making no mistake whatsoever. Please watch ARTR 204V. Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Nepal mein navin pravidi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign to tha Galva Plus jasta pata jivan bhar ko bharo sa. Rangin banao los afro zindagi Apollo Paints ko saath ma. Mero hero super splendor. What an over already. Three balls, two wickets. Seema Kamiya is doing all the destruction. Impact bowler Kamiya. Two wickets in quick successions. And Nepal not entirely in trouble, but they should be countering this situation. Dipendra Singh Ayri. Already the set batter out there. And Dilip Nath. This partnership has to grow big for Nepal. A beautiful start. Luckily for Believe Not, he got his bat down at time. This is a perfect ball to test the new batter. It's just in, and what a way to welcome him. Hello. Welcome to the crease, Dilip Not. The ball, I think, would have missed the leg stump, even if it had only hit the pads. Brilliant figures in the final over for Kamiya. This time he's bowled him. What a delivery. What an over. What's happening here? 
Dilip Nath comes into the center. The first delivery, he managed to get away with it. But this time, Zema Kamiya is right on spot. And Dilip Nath will have to make his way back. It was too good a delivery for Dilip, Dilip Nath. Wicked thought, wicked thought, wicked. Let's have a look at this again. Went for the yoker again. And disturbed his timber. The off stump is disturbed and Dilip Nath will have to make his long walk back. Disappointed young man. That's the end of the... देश बटा आईएमई करें को पैसा सीधे ही तपाईं को मोबाइल मनी ने मिल्छ। आप मो मोबाइल निकालोस, आईएमई पे डाउनलोड करनोस। अनि। And PNG are on top right now. Again another appeal, another appeal. Nivali batsmen are being chased by Zema Kamiya. Where were you the whole tournament, young man? What an over, a wicket and three wickets and a maiden. Zema Kamiya has done. Terrific work for his team in this over. He's very interested in this delivery as well. So the score after this over, three wickets at three dots. Nepal are 82 for five. Videsh bata IMI gare ko paisa sidhe hi tapai ko mobile mali ne milche. Apno mobile nikalos, IMI pe download karnos. Ani ghar basi basi apno ra kam prapta karnos. Aba IMI garo. आईएमई पे मैं प्राप्त करूं सजीले उदयपुर को सुंदरगा बाटा तैयार करिए को the best सौरिया सीमेंट अपालो पेंट्स को कुने बने नजीक को स्टोर मार गया रहा अपने मन पर नहीं रहा चंदोस नेपाल वेल एंड ट्रूली इन द ड्राइविंग सीट थ्री विकेट्स फ्रॉम सेमा कमिया नाउ टेक्स द स्कोर टू 82 फॉर फाइव थ्री विकेट्स Dream over, you have yes, to yes, say, Pradamba. Well, Sachin, the momentum has shifted to PNG and Nepali batters have to play some sensible cricket out here. This is a concerning time. Nice to show, nice Just to show. a single. Even the last delivery, it was close. Abai thought that the ball would have missed the leg stump by some margin. Momentum shifts so fast, especially in this format of the game. The 20 cricket, they say it's a game of possibilities. Youngster Adil, he has so far impressed the ardent followers of Nepali cricket with his capacity of smacking the sixes. But here, the approach probably has to be a bit different. Partnership is key as the run rate is only 6.82. Beautiful delivery again. How did that miss the stumps? Held it, slime. Adil thought the ball would have come in. It looked like he bowled him. Missed everything. And buys. Let's have a look at this again. Thank you so. He's beaten completely. In fact, he was squared up. Mohammad Adil, he does not have that license to go after the baller straight away. He'll have to help. Dibinder Singh ready to rebuild this innings. Oh, yeah. Let's see it low as well. <laughs> Unexpected things are happening out here in the middle of the TU Park. PNG have made a brilliant comeback in this series. Remember they lost against Malaysia to begin the tournament. Lost against Nepal as well. And won that crucial match against Malaysia to secure their berth at this final. And the way things are going for them. It's been brilliant. All again, Adil has to take some time in the center and make sure that he stays and gives the rota uh, strike back to the Keep going, keep going, Gisso! So the Bender Singh Airi has now reached to 1,000 T20 international runs. The highest by any Nepali batter. Brilliant century in the previous match, and he will have to 
play a key role to rescue Nepal innings. Already five wickets gone. Still got some batters in the lineup. What a cricketer. What a batter. Devendra Singh ID. 1,000 T20 international runs. The international community, cricketing community will have to look at this young man more seriously. With an average of just under 40, he has been such an asset for Nepali cricket. He bowls well as well. Defenders in hiding, we'll come back to that. 13 ball, 87 for 5. Hero, hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero, super splendor. Udaipur ko Sundunga Bata, the Yargari ko, the best. Saudi. So Nepal have scored only three runs in the past 12 deliveries they've faced. Remember that made in with three wickets. Wicket dot, wicket dot, wicket. For Sema Kamiya. Maintaining that line in length. Oh, a bit of misfeel out there, and Nepal will take that a single anyway. The plan has been executed, executed to perfection by the Papua New Guinea bowlers. I'm really impressed by the captaincy of Asad Bala here. He's read the pitch really well. The plan is simple to bowl a lot of cutters. and They've also made excellent plans for individuals. They're not giving Devinder Singh idea with a lot of room. Making him to do something fancy. Adil way outside of his crease. Making use of the pitch, a smacks it, and a bit of misfield, just a single though. He was hit really hard. Really well done there by Charles Amini. A fantastic fielder, Amini. Norman Vanua has been economical. If you look at his performance in the previous matches of this tournament. Short wide this time. Will this find the fence? Yes, it does. So finally breaks the shackle here. Dipendra Singh ID. Much, much needed boundary for Nepal. A welcome four for Nepal came in at the right time. And there the crowd goes. Celebrations were due. But Dipendra having scored 27 from 19 deliveries. There it was to be hit. The room given and the pounds helped it. This match almost went for a six. One bounce, four runs. He can also hit really flat sixes around the ground. They've been saying early this time takes a single. In fact, they come back for the second run. For a moment, I thought that this is only going to be a single. He was anticipating for that overthrow as well. That's the kind of cricket that they've been saying ideas. Quick runner between the wickets. Beautiful pictures out there. Yes, we can see you, we can see you, the world can see you. Wave at us, wave at our, our cameraman as well. Devinder Singh ID, facing Norman Vanua. It's the single again. Now look at the difference, uh, Pradamba. Asif Sheikh was... Yes, the security people have been really, really effective. They've done their will really well, worked there really well and... See, Devinder Singh Ardi is batting at 30 of 21. Asif Sheikh also struggled. Devinder Singh Ardi, mind you, has not been very fluent. But the difference, because Devinder Singh Ardi runs in so well. Comes down the track. He didn't walk, you can say, but no connection this time by Adil. And that's the end of the 14th over, 96 for 5. The team is Bajay RTR 204 V. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko sundunga bata, tayar kariye ko, the best, Saurya Cement. Rangin manaun hos afro zindagi, Apollo Paints ko satma. Vidyas bata IME gare ko paisa, sidha hi tapai ko mobile mali na mecha. Aapno mobile nikalos, IME bhi download garnos. And we're yet to see introduction of any spinner from Asad Bala. 
They've understood Nepal's strengths and weaknesses pretty pretty well. No spinners so far, Karamba. Well, they've adjusted to the conditions so well as well. They remember we started this series with one day internationals and having played so many matches, PNG will look comfortable and confident with the conditions out here. So Adil, I'm sure, will go after the baller. It's just a matter of time. Takes a single to give the strike back to his senior pro. So they've understood that Nepal a very strong side when they fa face spin balling. They do not have spin balling of that quality. This partnership will be key. Remember, we are edging closer to the business end of the first innings. Only five overs after this. Nepal have to shift their gears. Score one very well judged by Devendra Singh ID. Drives down the ground, cannot find the gap again. The Nepali batsmen should be anticipating more of slow deliveries. The Vivians have, Vivians in fact, have done the trick for, PN, for Nepal as well. Like PNG have not pulled those super fast deliveries. The variations have confused the batters, drawing mistakes from Nepali batters. A helicopter attempted again, gets a boundary, not exactly what he intended, but boundary nevertheless. Much, much needed boundary for Nepal and young Adil as well. Brings up 100 for Nepal. Is this the start of the firework Nepal are going on to bring in the last five overs? Well, Adil will be key here alongside Dipendra. Dipendra at a certain point of time, maybe probably starting next over, will start smashing those boundaries. But Adil will have to produce those magic sixes like he did in the previous match, Sachin. The attempt was there, Pradamba. He wanted to play that expansive helicopter shot. This time, deceived in length and speed by Cabo Marea. He's also bowled really well now. Given away only 23 runs and 2.5 overs, he's bowled just over 7 and over. The run rate. Nepal will need some fireworks here from Defender Singh Ari and Young Adil. It was a single. End of the 15th over, Nepal 104 runs for the loss of 5 wickets. Bheer tiste, garmi tiste. Hey, bhai. Eshi chai na? Eshi chalau na? Uncle. Cool bas ne. Sprite pune ho. Cool bas ne ho. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. Udaipur ko sundunga baata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Udaipur ko sundunga baata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Andrew Leonard rejoins you alongside Ijaz Ahmed. Not potentially the first innings we were expecting. Papua New Guinea have been excellent, <laughs> impressive, and economical with the ball as well as the penetration which has been mainly brought by Samo Kamea who's bowled outstandingly probably the quickest spell we've seen of the whole week Chad Soper returns to the attack Nijaz, Nepal, they need something from here yes and uh, you're right I think so Defender Singh the man in frame is the key for Nepal here he will surely be batting here till the 20th over Nepal would have a great hope and I think so he can bat down Issue for Irie though, just five wickets in hand, and been a very different scenario to which he's batted in prior. He's often come in at number four and applied the finishing touches or batted from a very good platform to begin with. However, today, PNG, they've been excellent. You have to give them great credit. They're clearly not intending to bowl any spinners. We spoke about their spin issues in the previous matches seamers they have used would be five of them really good good running here we'll get a couple it's good running good running between the wickets 
Well, I think so that uh, three three wickets that we did see, like with an interval of 10 minutes, that was uh, quite a bit of a mistake by the batters. They knew that the fielder was off and they were trying to play towards extremely straight to the fielders. And I think so those overs, like they could go like four to five runs per over, can strike back in uh, from the 40th over till end. They've made mistakes there. Just been that kind of a day, hasn't it? Everything's come off uh, an inside edge and outside edge. Nothing really coming out of the middle of the bat, even. I see Sheikh and Kushal Bertel up the top. And he sixes, just the one I believe in the inning so far, coming from Sheikh. There's any demons in the wicket. I just think Papua New Guinea have finally adjusted to the conditions in the T20 format. Maybe some runs here this time. That's an extraordinary shot of the highest quality from Mohamed Adil Alam. Sofer decided to go to the full delivery at full pace, missed the block hole, and Adil Alam's punished him the second six of the innings. There's something to cheer, and this is really high time for Nepal to come back into this game. With such kind of quality shots, Ariel Root been clean enough to go. Get a beauty, it's just gone Ariel, and this is the need of time. Could be back to back sixes, it won't be because he's picked out the man, and it's going to be held. Chad Soper strikes back, it cost him six runs, but he's found the wicket of Mohamed Adil Alam. Not sure it was the greatest delivery. All that Adil Alam could do was pick out the fielder in the deep. Sese Bao, who's held on to a good catch, and he departs. The crowd silenced yet again. Yes, uh, that should not be there because he hit a six before this. He goes for 15 in just 13 deliveries, 114 for six. Nepal. A quick look at the replay, just a clip into the leg side. Sese Bao underneath it, and didn't he know Adil Alam? As you say, score now 1 1 4 for 6. Watch ARTR 204 V. Here this day, Gormit this day. Hey, bhai. Yes, it's Haina. Yes, it's Alona. Come with the error, come with the man, Karen KC. Oh. To the crease. He hasn't really had to bat much in this series because of the excellence of the Napoli top order. If he's only batted twice, once right at the death where he made one. And in the first game where he made 14, he's got a remarkable Thank record at this ground. The strike rate approaching 300. He loves hitting sixes straight down the ground. TNG are going to continue to try and starve the batters of any pace. Riley Hikori into his last over. He runs here and four of them fortunate runs off the outside edge. Obviously no slip in place at this stage. And whether he gets a boundary. But really, right now, the home crowd, they need a Karen Casey special. Yes, exactly. He is the key batter. The way he has just gone there, not confident, but though he has got a boundary. And Nepal will love to have anything at this stage when they've lost six wickets in terms of runs because we could call him that was ticking quite nice and smoothly. The need to take those uh, runs. Just Fane's going outside the off stump before getting back into his normal stance. Karen Casey usually is a monster on this ground, particularly to any medium or fast bowling that's bowled full. He'll just pongo it straight for six. No boundaries big enough for him. Don't they need him today? Yes, every time. Because back up line delivery that has been badly hit by any batter. It's horrible. Clever bowling. I think to oh, oh, is going to encourage Karen Casey oh, to come back for a second. He would have got there. Defender Seymour has ended up running three, pretty much. Karen KC has run one, and the end result would be one run to the total. He's so quick between the wickets, like lightning. God, this was uh, really a big mistake, would have been for the KC. He's just been almost to the other end. Well, the throw was accurate enough towards wicketkeeper, I think. 
there would be another wicket, but really lucky at this stage that the throw was towards non striking in. He's that quick, he can even recover from a mistake like that. He literally nearly ran three runs for that delivery, just won the end total. Yes, Cut shot, his favourite oh. shot, but straight yeah. to the field. They will get through for a quick single again, thanks to Irie's speed between the wickets. The issue here is Karen KC is nowhere near as quick as a, an Asif Sheikh or a Rohit Taudal, so Irie needs to be aware of that. Yes, you're right, because of uh, the nice of crowd, it's also been there, so that's why they can't hear each other properly. But you have to gesture yes and no, because today has been a really a wonderful crowd, massive. Bowled into the wicket and just clipped away by Karen Casey. He usually goes straight down the ground, but he's happy to paddle this away behind square. Three big overs remain after this one. It's one, two, six for six. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle Hero Super Splendor. Apollo Paints ko kune kune na jiko store magera. Apollo man parne ram. Thanos. Jagdamba Super Sign to tha Galva Plus jasta pata. Those two ducks in the middle order already shake and Dilip Nath both going for second ball ducks. Kamea outstanding. His first three international wickets for him. Just 20 years of age. What a find for Papi New Guinea. He was fearsome and fast. Three for 28, including the maiden, remarkably. Norman Vanua back into the attack. And at some points, he just, he's been costly at the death. Can Nepal capitalise from these last 17 deliveries? Yes, and more importantly, you will have to see the pin dressing mostly on the strike. Because if Nepal wants to get a big one, like almost 160, 170, they will need to get some big overs. Please lost 3 1, and defender should be the key. Yeah. Be signaled as a wide down the leg, sir. He usually goes to his death bowling pretty quickly, Norman Vanua. You can see the bowlers are having to scurry back because, with no spinners having bowled, I wonder are they tight for time? A few extras as well have come into play. So maybe just getting the hurry up. Yes, and to me, I think that they need to keep that, that momentum, what has been in favour of uh, PNG so far, by taking some quick wickets. They don't lose to me, lose that focus, which has been capitalised by the ballers. Deep covers coming up into the circle. Edged and will be edged away for four. It's a full pace delivery. This has been the problem. That's not in the block hole. Maybe fortunate for Karen KC, but it's the wrong length. It's actually in the slot to be hit. Karen KC looking to go over extra cover. Doesn't get the full meat of the bat, gets the edge, four more to the total. The luck tilting here to us, Nepal. We were just trying to go somewhere, but took the leading edge and gone into the third man region, getting full runs. And crowd loves every moment here when the, battle, when the ball has been crossing the fence. Right into the block hole. That's what he has to do. There's no margin for error, though. It's either the perfect Yorker or else Karen KC or Defender Singh Iri. I suspect will punish him, but well bowled on this occasion, Norman Benua. Yes, and we've witnessed any sort of back-up line deliveries. Those been badly hit. Are they being like innovative somewhere at deep and wicked? Might be at fine leg. But whenever there's a delivery, Yorker length and might be like slower one. This has been uh, really up to the mark for bowler. This is the slot this time and ends up with a low full toss out to CJ Amini, the standout fielder maybe of the entire series. And again, the issue is if another batter was in, I think Irie would have won two there, but Karen KC only able to get the single. Two balls left off Anua. Run rate is below eight. They need to capitalize. They need to whip up here. Nepal. More runs. Everyone's up on the offsides, and this will be four more. Again, Vanua just misses the block hole. Karen KC punishes him. Not too sure about this field. I'm not sure where fine leg is back and deep extra cover is in the circle when you're trying to bowl in the block hole. Doesn't make any sense to me. Yes, exactly. I think so that they are keeping the fielders up. Full of length and it's just going again. But sweeper cover, no one was there. 
I think they, they've been keeping those fielders in the catching position. So anything whipped up like full length delivery might be driven, unfortunately, going into the hands. But unlucky, they have cut boundary here. Just as I said, fine leg comes up, deep cover, now goes back. Down the track, smashed into the offside, like a lightning bolt. That's Karen KC, it's what he does. A brilliant over, the big boost that the home fans needed. They go past 140, two to go, 142 for six. Excellent, this has been excellent, clean hitting. Extra cover in the space here. The field was pretty wide. And he took that. He is Baji RTR 204V. Vidhis Bata, I am Igor Eko Paisa, Sida Itapai Ko Mobile Mali Na Mil Chha. Aapno Mobile Nikalos, I am Ibe Download Garnos. Ani Ghar Basi Basi, Aapno Rakam Prapt Garnos. Aba I am Igor. I am Ibe Ma Prapt Garnos. Saji Lai. It'll live long in the memory. Can he find a way up past 160 up to late? Maybe 170. Maria to bowl to Irene and gets it away for what will just be a single. And maybe play up, play up. right now, Karen KC is the man to get on to strike. Good batting from Irene. Yes, he's hitting well. He's in a good nick. Whenever he's been hitting in seven deliveries, 19 runs, I think that he can go with a charge. Like he can sacrifice his wicket by scoring like quick 15 to 20 runs in four or five deliveries in this over. That will be a big from him. Look out long on in the crowd. It's gonna not quite get up to you, but it will go for six. And don't they love it? They are rocking up there. It's Karen KC time here in Kathmandu. Your beauty, they're just over pitching, paying the prize. And Karen, your beauty, they've just picked it up quite nice and smoothly. There you go. Boom, boom, up into the sky. Six runs. I was just about to say before he delivered it, look out long on, here we go again. Looked into the leg side this time, but it'll just be, oh, it will be a couple of misfield, a crucial misfield, because it'll get Karen KC back into strike, and it's Sese Bow, of all people. There's all the team keeping up their great work, the Cantabor HD. Go on, guys, give us a wave. Give us a wave, guys, you know you're on TV. They're all too busy, aren't they? They've been doing a fantastic job with that to the HD TV team. Thank you to all of you boys. Exactly, well done. Everyone here at this moment. Boys and girls I get reminded of, of course. In the background there, a single into the leg side this time. Fever pitch, it's reaching here at the TU International Cricket Ground. They have to find a way, in my opinion, to 170. Can they do it? Yes, I hope so. The way that Karen and... DSC Spear have been batting here. I think another 20 to 30 runs will be a massive call here for Nepal. They can touch 170. Just loses his shape. We've we seen quite a little bit of that, haven't we? Where it's just been mistimed. It's a really wonderful hitting since last 20 minutes. The game has been tilted to Nepal's favour. The way Karan and DP, DSS batting here. This has been really a massive call for them and crowd loving every bit of moment here. Wait and see what's coming next. Now goes and it's chipped down the ground. Don't think he's got enough of it for six. How has he got that for six? What an extraordinary shot. It is beyond description this one somehow. I'm not sure it might have even come off a leading edge. And Karen Casey has got it for a maximum. It's the big over they needed. And it's a six to close out the 19. Straight enough, straight enough to go. And getting runs. Extremely well batting here by Karen. 157 for six, one over to go. The TV is Baje RTR 204V. Chad Soper to bowl the final over. And it's going to be runs into the offside. Should be a couple, you'd imagine. And Karen KC will get back on to strike. This is the late boost that they needed. A really good 19th over. 
that went for 15 runs following up an 18th over that went for 16. And I think he may be now of 175. Yes, exactly. You can uh, keep your fingers crossed. Don't make any sort of backup line delivery. Make it fuller, slower, or Yorker. Otherwise, you will be punished. Down the ground, it's almost the helicopter coming out again, and it's going to be another 50 for Dependra Singh Iri. Look at this crowd. It's his 50, 20 I 50 to go alongside that majestic maiden century. His last three innings, he's gone 66, 110 not out, and now 50 not out. Dependra Singh Iri is a star. Extremely good, bat good batting. He was under a huge pressure. When the, thicker, when the wickets were kept falling around him, but he kept his nerves cool. Big hit into the leg side, but has he got enough of it? He hasn't. It's actually going to fall short of the two fielders, so I really will keep the strike. Just Karen Casey will get home. He was having to put in some heavy yards there. 2-4-2 two, two to start the final over. It's absolutely manic here in Kirtapur. Oh, goodness me. They're surely looking for 172 or 5 three deliveries to go and uh, Singh is on strike I hope he can finish it on a big note like three deliveries to go and to the leg side no real timing and I think it's just going to be the single as I say Bayo the fielder again he's been everywhere but wherever you are in the world watching on whether it be on Cantapur on Fancode on Crick Tracker have a look at this crowd this crowd is second to none anywhere in the world the passion the energy the atmosphere it's as good as it gets here in Kathmandu we've got a brilliant match for the final to go with it couldn't get any sort of timing out of that just going to be a single one delivery remain can they get past 170 Ejaz? well let's see and it depends on Defendra Singh because he has got the margin he can hit big and if he can hit big here for a mighty six, he will be on 59, finishing it on great note. And uh, Nepal should be crossing 172. Soap has been really good. His final delivery, the final of the first innings. Right into the block hole, brilliant skills. It's just going to be a single, so not the big finish that the home side probably needed. I think they're shy of par. We've seen about 180 being par throughout this tournament. And thanks to an excellent bowling effort from five different seamers for Papua New Guinea, they've restricted the hosts to 168 for six. And the hosts have only got up to that total thanks to the excellence, the continued excellence of Dependra Singh Iri. And a great cameo from Karen Casey, who made 33 from just 12 deliveries. That was the late boost they needed. But Nepal, they're going to have to bowl and field excellently to defend a total that is definitely under par. It's exactly to me like 20-25 uh, runs has been shot enough for Nepal here, but they have done a good job finishing it. Like Devendra Singh, always been the key factor for Nepal cricket batting, and I think so. He has uh, done a pretty fair job. When the wickets are falling around him, he capped himself in the center. Played. Garbana ono kalagi ek arkama bharosa chaincha. Hai nara? Bharosa ho na. एकअर्कामा विश्वास चाहिन्छ हैन र विश्वासले दिन्छ हरेक सम्बन्धलाई जुनी भरिको साथ भनिन्छ नि राम्रो सम्बन्ध साथ जुनीको लागि बनेको हुन्छ प्रस्तुत छ जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा ग्याल्वा प्लस साथको साथ अत्याधुनिक ग्याल्वुलम लाइन प्रविधि बडो बनेको टिकाउ तथा खिया प्रतिरोधात्मक हरेक मौसमबाट पूर्ण सुरक्षा उच्च मजबूती उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा ग्याल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा प्रभु बैंक द रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस बल्ल भेट यू सुन जस्ते सुन ढूंगा खानी बेस्ट चाहनु उनीहरुको लागि द बेस्ट मात्र उपलब्ध गराउँदै द बेस्ट सौर्य सिमेन्ट मेरो हिरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपालको अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकल हिरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर अपोलो पेन्ट्सको कुनै पनि नजिकको स्टोरमा गएर आफूलाई मन पर्ने रङ छान्नुहोस् 
Bravo Bank. A reason for your success. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jeevan Bharko Bharosa. Bravo Bank. A reason for your success. Mero Hero Super Splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero Super Splendor. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jeevan Bharko Bharosa. Bravo Bank. A reason for your success. उनलाई पटाउने आस छ बेकार तेरो सास छ फ्रेशो ब्रेथ मेरो पास छ के म तिम्रो जीएफ भन्ने चान्स छ फ्रेशो ब्रेथ 100% माउथ फ्रेशनर मात्र रु 1 मा जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गाल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भरको भरोसा फॉर एभ्री माइल यु कंकर देयर इज अ थ्रस्ट for every bit of pride you achieve, there's a thrust. Behind every successful venture, there are multiple hearts. Behind every blissful individual, there's a thought. There's always a logic, a motive, a purpose for everything. When you are the reason for someone's happiness, we are here for yours. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. Rangin Banaulos Afro Zindagi Apollo Paints Ko Satma. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गाल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा मेरो हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Pata, Jeevan Bhar Ko Bharosa. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. For every mile you conquer, there is a thrust. For every bit of pride you achieve, there is a thrust. Every successful venture, there are multiple hearts. Behind every blissful individual, there is a thought. There is always a logic, a motive, a purpose for everything. When you are the reason for someone's happiness, we are here for yours. Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. Balla Petiyo, Sunza Stay Chundhunga Kani. Best Zahanuni Arukulagi, the best matra uplabda garaude. The best Saurya Cement. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Bravo Bank, 
the reason for your success. नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर घर बनाने के लिए एक आर का मां भरोसा सही ना है ना रा भरोसा हो ना एक आर का मां विश्वास सही ना है ना रा विश्वास ले दिन से हर एक संबंध लाई जूनी भरी को साथ बनी चाहिए राम रस संबंध साथ जूनी के लिए बने को उनसे प्रस्तुत था जगदंबा सुपर साइंस तथा गैल्वा प्लस साथ को साथ अत्याधुनिक गैल्वलूम लाइन प्रविधि बड़ो बने को टिकाऊ तथा खिया प्रतिरोधात्मक हर एक मौसम बाटा पूर्ण सुरक्षा उच्च मजबूती उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइंस तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा सुनना होती हर एक मोड में आपे टिंसा संकल्प चाहिंसा जिंदगी का गंतव्य में पुकना हर एक संकल्प लाई रफ्तार दीना टीवीएस रेडर एनिमलिस्टिक हेडलाइट स्टाइलिश नेकेड डिजाइन और त्यादिक पिकअप चमता उच्च ग्राउंड क्लीयरेंस उच्च लचकता और त्यादुनिक र सक्ति साली इंजन अंडर सीट स्टोरेज र चार्जिंग पोर्ट यही उत्कृष्ट फीचर हरले दिंसा तपाईं को संकल्प लाई रफ्तार टीवीएस रेडर रफ्तार जिंदगी को प्रभु बैंक द रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा मेरो हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर उनलाई पटाउने आस छ बेकार तेरो सास छ फ्रेसो प्रेस मेरो पास छ के म तिम्रो जीएफ भन्ने चान्स छ फ्रेसो प्रेस 100% माउथ फ्रेशनर मात्र रु 1 मा प्रभु बैंक द रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस घर बनाउनको लागि एक आर्कामा भरोसा चाहिन्छ हैन र भरोसा हो न एक आर का मां विश्वास साइंस है, है ना रा? विश्वास ले दिन जा हर एक संबंध लाई जूनी भरी को साथ। बनी चाहिए राम रस संबंध साथ जूनी कला के बने को उनसे। प्रस्तुत था जगदंबा सुपर साइंस तथा गैल्वा प्लस साथ को साथ। अत्याधुनिक गैल्वलूम लाइन प्रविधि बड़ो बने को टिकाऊ तथा खिया प्रतिरोधात उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि, उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण, गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग, नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइंस तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा। घर बनाने के लिए एक आर का मां भरोसा सही ना है ना रा? भरोसा हो ना एक आर का मां विश्वास साइंस है, है ना रा? विश्वास ले दिन से हर एक संबंध लाई जूनी भरी को साथ। बनी चाहिए राम रस संबंध साथ जूनी कला के बने को उनसे। प्रस्तुत था जगदंबा सुपर साइंस तथा गैल्वा प्लस साथ को साथ। अत्याधुनिक गैल्वलूम लाइन प्रविधि बड़ो बने को टिकाऊ तथा खिया प्रतिरोधात उत्कृष्ट रंग कोटिंग प्रविधि, उत्कृष्ट गुणस्तर परीक्षण, गार्ड फिल्म कोटिंग, नेपाल में नवीन प्रविधि द्वारा उत्पादित जगदंबा सुपर साइंस तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरोसा। प्रभु बैंक, the reason for your success। बल्ला भेटियो, सुन्दरस्ताई चुन्दुंगा कारी। बेस्ट चाहनुनी आरु कुलागी 
द बेस्ट मात्र उपलब्ध कराई द बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट मेरो हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर अपोलो पेंट्स को कुने बने नजीक को स्टोर में गया रहा आप लोग मन पड़ने रहा छन्नूस प्रभु बैंक द रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस इंट्रोड्यूसिंग द टीवीएस पाचे आरटीआर 204 वी इंजीनियर्ड टू अडैप्ट जगदंबा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरो सा प्रभु बैंक The reason for your success. Mero hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle, Hero Super Splendor. Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata, jivan bhar ko bharo sa. Bravo Bank. The reason for your success. उनलाई पटाउने आस छ बेकार तेरो सास छ फ्रेशो प्रेस मेरो पास छ के म तिम्रो जीएफ भन्ने चान्स छ फ्रेशो प्रेस 100% माउथ फ्रेशनर मात्र रु 1 मा जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा गैल्वा प्लस जस्ता पाता जीवन भर को भरो सा फॉर एभ्री माइल यु कंकर देयर इज अ थ्रस्ट For every bit of pride you achieve, there's a thrust. Behind every successful venture, there are multiple hearts. three or four wickets to give Nepal real hope. Here we go for the second innings. And the final of the SkyExchange.net Nepal Tri-Nation Series powered by Daffa News. It's been an excellent six group games. Four really close finishes. And I wouldn't bet against a close finish here. I think this one could go all the way. I agree. Papua New Guinea, meanwhile, would like to have a cautious start here. They can, they have all the fire firepower in them. Big hitters to follow. Tony Ura is in a great touch. Yeah, that move to number four for Tony Ura. He's just been passed by Defender Singari as the leading run scorer of the tournament. The first batter to get past the 200 mark. But Ura has been excellent in that new role at number four. 190 runs. Look at that strike rate. Nearly 200. Tremendous. Thanks to his innings of 86, not out in this match in, in this previous match in his previous match against Malaysia, Papua New Guinea qualified into the finals, winning just one run, one match. And it's funny how the momentum can shift, isn't it? They lost their first three games, Papua New Guinea. They came into the Malaysia clash with a must-win scenario, and you have to think that surely. They're going to fancy their chances of chasing this down. Here we go. Have a look at this. There is probably no better crowd, not just in the world of associate cricket, but world cricket generally. Seven, eight, nine, probably over, well over 10,000 people I'm hearing in my ear right now, packed in to the TU International Cricket Ground. And the atmosphere, as we see Siaka play and miss, is so, so special. So if you're watching on from around the world, if you're in the ICC, look at this. This is the place to come. Let's see bigger sides come here to Kathmandu. Let's get some test nations coming and playing their cricket. And Andrew, this is not the English crowd. These are buzzing crowd. They're, they're making noise at the all point of time. They're backing their own players. Karan Casey getting that chair up through all this run-up. Look at the size of it. Look at it as it extends across the fire grass banks here. It's not just passionate. It's energetic, it's knowledgeable. They love their cricket here. 
We want to see more and more cricket in Kathmandu. Let's bring some test nations here. Imagine the atmosphere. Ireland, Pakistan, Zimbabwe. Who's going to come? Starting with Ireland, eh? That's yeah. fellow Ar Irishman for you. I think that's my job now, isn't it, Sachin? I've got to get back to Dublin, get into the Cricket Ireland offices and say, guys, why would you not come? Look at this. And after all the difficulties of the last two years, the COVID pandemic and all of the troubles for the world, isn't it lovely just to see pure joy at the most phenomenal venue here, the TU International Cricket Ground. And look at this, the brilliant drone cameras as well. The pictures they're showing us. Doesn't get any better than this for the grand final. And a great start from Karen KC. No runs from the first over. Won't close out in Maiden. It'll just be a single. One over gone, one for none. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Here they stay, Gormi they stay. Hey, boy. Is she saying that? Is she telling us? Uncle, cool bus ni ho. Sprite kyun ni ho? Cool bus ni ho. Bravo Bank, the reason for your success. Jagdamba Super Sign to thay Galva Plus justa pata. जीवन भर को भरोसा। Paul Cami to open the bowling. He's the one change for the side. Just the three appearances for him, three wickets. He was given a rest in the final group game. And Kevin Sinari, of course, misses out because of that injury. Has got three wickets in this uh, in this tournament, Sompal. Three wickets, but two of them very, very important. Sometimes you feel like the bowling card does not do enough justice for the way he's bowled. He got that important wicket, broke the partnership between Tony Ura and Charles Amini, which is looking dangerous at one point of time. Took the important wickets of both the said batsmen brought Nepal back into the match. Driven but straight to the man of cover. To Pendra Singer, he's a real fan favourite. Every time he touches the ball, there's a big cheer. You have to think that this is a great test for Nepal. They've had it all their own way in this tri series, and nobody has defended a score this low. It's tended to be the side batting second that's held up quite a bit. But 183 was defended, 180 was defended. Nothing as low as 168. Pulled, but no real timing. Probably just be a couple of runs. Sandy Plamachani will cut it off. He'll still have to wait for the first boundary here. Cautious start from Papua New Guinea. Sampal Kami bowling a little short this time. It'll be interesting to see if the Nepali bowlers also take the same approach, the Pacers. Oh, I'm trying, trying to read that sign. What does it see? I see everything. Maybe we can get them to hold that up. Ice cream's going around the crowd and barely standing room only. They're seeing themselves on the big screen. First time we've seen that far side of the ground really thronged with the fans. And all of this is on a Monday. A bit of movement for Cami, well bowled, playing a miss outside the Osto. It's not just, just the fans that benefit from cricket, isn't it, Andrew? Especially the shorter format, bringing in crowd, the local vendors, getting some business, the broadcasting people, the commentators. You look at cricket from a different angle, from the financial angle as well. It's great for the economy. People have come in. It's, it's a Monday, mind you. It's an office day. And as I said, Andrew, probably a lot of them have written sick leave applications to their bosses. Runs and the first stroke of any real authority through the offside right out of the middle of the bat. It was over pitched by Kami. Despite Lamachani's dive, it was always going to run away for four. The first boundary of the chase. This was full. And freed his arms. Dependent Singer, he trying the desperate dive this time too. First boundary for PNG here. Yeah, sorry, it was Dependent Singer. He just did, they had a move in the field, didn't they? Lamachani switched with Iri. iri has gone to mid off, and Lamachani's moved to cover. Yeah, certainly, I reckon a few offices not getting too much productivity in this afternoon, watching on if they're not here in person. Big swing and a miss. Good movement. Haven't seen much of that. Sharp tail away from the right-hander. 
maybe a risk to have no slip in there. I agree, Son Palkami. He's known for this. Idealizer Del Stein, who's known for his outswingers too. Son Palkami. There's a bit of change in his attitude, fast bowling attitude after his comeback. Went through injuries in his career. A number of them, Sombal. End of the second over. Score seven for none. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jeevan Bharko Barosa. Vidyas Bata IME Gareko Paisa Sidha Hi Tapai Ko Mobile Mali Na Mech. Aapno Mobile Nikalos, IME Pay Download Garnos. Ani Ghar Basi Basi, Aapno Rakam Prapta Garnos. Aba IME Garo. IME Pay Ma Prapta Garo? Saji Lai. Udaipur ko sundhunga baata tayyar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Apollo Paints ko kune kune na jiko store magera. Apollo man parne ram. Thanos. First time we'll see Asad Bala come on to strike, and you can take a look at the field here. For the left-hander, it's going to be a third man in place, and also on the leg side, a deep square leg. So one fielder, one sweeper on each side of the field just two fielders allowed outside the circle for the first six overs certainly for looking for early wickets on the hunt as he comes around the wicket he's clipped away it's going to be runs how many of them it'll be four because deep backward square leg isn't fine enough not a good delivery Bala gets a boundary from his first delivery this one drifting down the leg side and Asad Bala all he had to do was find that gap finds it with perfection and first boundary for Asad Bala, the skipper. Came round the wicket caught in Casey this time. And the crowd will not celebrate the boundaries as they have done in the Nepal innings. Karan Casey has picked up 10 wickets in this tournament. I have to give great credit to Asad Bala the way he's led his troops here, not just in the ODI series, which they won 2 0, but managed to turn things around from a disastrous start to the t20s and although it was tony ora that made the headlines with that 86 not out off 34 deliveries including 10 sixes second highest ever for any associate behind just george munsey with 14. asad bala's innings the anchor role he played 74 not out of 51 was a really good one you wonder if malaysia would have scored 14 extra runs probably would have seen a 37 ball century from uh, tony ora the way he was going you wouldn't have put it past him and that's the fear for the home side i think bala's going to be pretty happy with a cautious start he knows that his side of the far power coming down the order not just order but also big norman venu a big storm and norman he's been outstanding sese bao as well this is why i think the approach will actually be a cautious one to start with from png that's exactly the way they've started. They know, as Andrew mentioned, that they've got enough of firepower in their middle and lower middle order. Norman Vanua, I think, will be also a very important prospect here, given the firepower he has. Oh, misfield, that's very rare from this young Nepali side. They've been outstanding, in fact, in the field. It's only going to cost a single, but... The youngster, Mohammed Adil Alam, what a big occasion for him, just 18 years of age, a week ago he'd never played for his country, and at the moment he's the talk of the town. Thanks to that expansive helicopter shot for his six. Played one today as well. Inside edge for a boundary today, not as convincing at all. Takes the aerial route, is this going to be a chance? He's given it away. The celebration wasn't the best from the fielder, but Karen Casey gets out the Bollywood. Beard one again. That's the first wicket. The tournament leading wicket taker. He strikes again. And it's Siaka that falls. And it's 11 in the series for Karen Casey. He is in a brilliant wicket taking touch here, Karen Casey. And trademark Karen Casey's celebration. Legacy Siaka coming down the track. 
trying to be aggressive has been held on by young Mohammad Adil Alam. Let's have a look at this. Comes down the track and an easy catch. Nearly took his partner off there. And the score now is 14 for one after 2.5 overs. भीड़ तिस्ते गर्मी तिस्ते ये भाई ये सी सही ना ये सी चलो ना अंकल कूल बस नहीं हो स्प्राइट क्यों नहीं हो कूल बस नहीं हो Bravo Bank, a reason for your success. CJ Amini at number three to face up to Karen KC. We'll start with the most pleasing drive you could ever imagine. Shades of the great Brian Charles Lara in that just a lazy full flow of the bat through the extra cover region. What a shot this is. Score of 50 against Nepal in the previous outing too, and this was a lovely cricketing st stroke. Nobody moved. And a wonderful way to get off the mark. And that's the end of the third over. 18 for one. Hero, hero, super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero super splendor. Udaipur ko sundhunga baata tayyar gariye ko The best, Saurya Cement The TV is Baje RTR 204 V It's the two left-handers at the crease for Papua New Guinea Asad Bala alongside CJ Amini who's got off the mark in the most pleasing of fashions The perfect cover drive Kami will continue Paul do have that advantage of the early breakthrough coming from Karen KC. They're going to want, I reckon, two if not three wickets in the power plate. We're halfway through it. Good line this by Sombal into his body this time. Asadwala just take a single and gives the strike. Back to Sizi Amini was had a beautiful shot to shot to his name in the very first delivery he played yeah, definitely no demons in the wicket in fact it, I was having a chat to the former captain Paris Katka there during the first innings he was explaining to me that the fallow period if you will during the COVID pandemic has been fantastic for the square it's finally given the kind of rest that it's needed Probably 10 to 12 months with no cricket at all on it. That's why the wickets have been so good. It's swing and a miss at the attempted pull shot. A bit of extra pace from Kami through to Nat. So there's no demons in the wicket, but there's been a good pace. And the, and the bowlers that have bowled quickly on it had some reward. I agree. And this was a wild swing from CJ Amini. It was a brilliant mix-up of pace and length from the Papua New Guinea bowlers. I think they planned this really very well. They did not use a single spinner in their 20 overs of bowling Papua New Guinea. So they've come up with a plan and they've executed, I think, well enough. Better control of this shot will probably be a boundary at will. I thought to Pendra Singhari, he's so quick, I thought he was going to cut it off and keep it to a couple, but it's almost accelerated away across the outfield. That's how quick it is. Not quite the full meat of the bat. And that Napoli fan points and says, we don't want too many more of them. If the Pendra Singhari can't stop this, not many in the world can stop this. The ball kept accelerating and accelerating and eventually got to the boundary. I mean, he looks... Like a man on a mission, a man possessed. He'll love the big stage. 
And also the fact that he wasn't used with the ball today. That was clearly a game plan. Chad Sayers and the bowling coach of Papua New Guinea and the head coach, Carl Sandry, I think they deserve great credit for that plan. And they've executed it really well, those five seamers they used. They've understood the pitch now. They've stayed in Nepal for almost 15 days now. The ODI series followed by the T20 series as well. They know the pitch now. Beautifully bowled. Dilip now thinks it's an outside edge and because he does, Sampal Kami goes with him but it's an afterthought. <laughs> and lovely to see Buddy Pradhan smile and say, Sampal, you didn't appeal at first. You know it's not out. I know it's not out. Now get on with the game. Let's put some pressure on Ambar Buddy Pradhan. But he's far too expensive experience. Ambar Buddy Pradhan, what are you appealing for, guys? That's not out. Cheeky there from Wicked Keeper Dilip Nath. Tempted Sombal Gami to have an appeal as well. Six runs of the five, first five deliveries from Sombal Gami. His 49th T20I today. Buddy Pradhan. Probably the best umpire, not just in Nepal, but going around the associate circuit. Four gone. It's 25 for one. Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko chundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Rangin banao los afro zindagi Apollo paints ko saath ma. Vidhis bata IME gare ko paisa sida hi tapai ko mobile mali na milcha. Aapna mobile nikalos IME pe download karnos. Ani ghar basi basi aapna rakam prapta karnos. Aba IME garo. So here comes the litmus test. Whose approach is correct? Will the balls with eight overs of spin at least in their 20 overs be the winning one? Or will Papua New Guinea, who didn't bowl a single over of spin, come out on the winning side chasing down the 169 that they require to win? It's going to be Depender Singh Iri. One of the players of the tournament, he's bowled really well as well. And the reason for that, the two left handers at the crease, the off spinner will get to turn the ball away from both of them. There's a filler at long leg. Had it been right handers, I think Sandeep Lamitani would have come in. But because it's left handers, the plan is to take the ball away from the two left handers. Yeah, it's deep backwards square leg, really. The man is out on the leg side, and then it's not long on, but long off. Just two fielders allowed outside the circle for two more overs. So taking a bit of a risk here, Lamachani, by bringing on a spinner in the power play. One of the reasons for that, though, Sachin, is he wants to keep two overs back of Karen KC for later in the innings. I think it's the right thing to do, and Dipinder Singh Aidi is more than capable with the ball as well. Fantastic all-rounder, a genuine all-rounder, you'll have to say. Was a medium pacer at the start of his career. Changed himself after an injury into an off-spinner. Big appeal and given. I think this has hit him low in the stomach, but he's so low on the sweep shot. It's not going to certainly miss in terms of line, but would it have missed in terms of height? That's the decision. Vinay Kumar Jha had to make, but the finger goes up, and Vala has been adjudged LBW. So there won't be any skipper's knock for Papua New Guinea in the finals. Asadola Vala will have to depart for eight of nine deliveries. It will be interesting to see this in the replay. Let's have a look at this. The ball came back in. Andrew believes it would have gone high enough. I beg to differ. I think it would have hit the wicket. The only question for me is, is the impact in the line of the stumps? And that's the end of the fall of the second wicket. It's 25 for 2. Apollo Paints ko kunai bane na jiko store ma gaira. Aapala man paane raam. Chan noos. Vidhes bata IME gare ko paisa sidhe hi tapai ko mobile mali na melche. Aapna mobile nika noos. IME pe download gar noos. Aani ghar basi basi. Aapna rakam praapta gar noos. Aba IME garo. IME pe ma praapta garo. Sajilai. 
उदयपुर को सुन ढूंगा बाट तैयार करिए द बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट बाजे आठ किया टू हंड्रेड फोर वी मेरो हीरो Come with the man when Karen Casey strode to the crease. He answered the call with 33 from 12 deliveries. It's the exact same thing now for Papua New Guinea. Tony Ora at a strike rate of nearly 200. He's hitting the ball in this tournament. Second in the runs chart, he could well go past to Pender Singh Iri, who scored his thousandth T20I run today. The first Nepali batter to do that. But for PNG to get close and chase down this total. You think it's going to need a big contribution again from Tony Ora, and he's going to start from his very first ball by giving it away. This should be taken, and it is. Would you believe it? The moment, the occasion. It's got to Tony Ora, and the change to the right arm off spin of Dipendra Singh Iri has worked. He sprints away in celebration. He's dancing. So are the crowd. Tony Ora trying to continue for where, from where he left. In that match against Malaysia, we'll have to depart here. Dipendra Singh, I need two in two for him now. You'd question Tony Ura's decision of going after Dipendra Singh, I need straight away, but the result says that Tony Ura will have to depart in his very first delivery. Would you believe it's the simplest of catches, and Tony Ura knew it as soon as he'd hit it. Rohit Pedal was never going to drop this. It's two and two. It's 25 for three. Patrick Ball for the fourth time in the series. We've already had one. Karen KC, the first man to do it. Can I rejoin him? He won't. In fact, he slashed away for a never so stylish four. What an over! We've had two wickets. A big, big shot from Sesse Bow. It's very first delivery. So the idea is clear. Even if the wicket falls, keep your bat swinging, keep the runs coming. That's probably what's the plan in the dugout of Papua New Guinea. And this was a wonderful-looking shot by Sesse Bow. Massive over in the context of the final two wickets. And just four runs coming from it, and those two very big wickets. The skipper and Tony Ortefall will have a commentary change after this five gone. It's 29 for three. Beer this day, gourmet this day. Hey, boy. Yes, it's here. Yes, it's alone. Cool. Cool bus neho. Sprite pyo neho. Cool bus neho. Bravo Bank. The reason for your success. Udaipur ko sun dhunga baata tayyar kariye ko. The best. Saurya Simen. Isaz, PNG Industries losing wickets at quick success in 29 for 3. How do you assess this match? Yes, and uh, you have to wait and see. That's how will be the strategy from PNG. But uh, Nepali bowlers, they're really coming back into this game. First, the batter Diaz, who has done the job, and now in the bowling. Well, just uh, with a single. Well, in this uh, here at this TU Cricket Ground, total ten games that Nepal has played. Uh, 11 games Nepal has played. They have won 10 times, just one loss, and that was against Netherlands. So Nepal has got pretty good record here at uh, TU Cricket Ground. Is the home crowd support the conditions favor Nepal? However, here it's all about 
getting the wickets. Sissipal, he can play deep in the innings. And Charles Romini, the player of the series in the one internationals. This partnership is very much essential for PNG right now. It's a partnership and they're the keys. They'll take it, keeping wickets in here and that really an important call here at this stage and uh, you see that uh, we've been looking at PNG batters they are feeling some sort of pressure now at this stage and this is courtesy three quick wickets otherwise a batting team chasing one below 170 would not be feeling any sort of pressure well as us we've seen PNG losing wickets but when they chase they've got this very long tail that bats well as well the match against Malaysia is just an evidence to the fact that despite losing wickets, PNG can still make a massive chase. Yes, sir, the habit is good. Though that uh, they have done one time in T20 series, but I think they, they have got trust in their batting abilities. That's why after winning the toss, Sadwala stayed away, elected to bowl. Smart cricket, quick single out there, bit of misfield. A good first over for Avinash Bora so far. Yes, uh, as a batter at this stage, you have to cut the focus of the bowlers because after three quick wickets, support of local crowd, I think that Nepal has been really on the peak. They are in the driving seat at this stage. I think it's a batter just to rotate the strike from PNG's point of view. Yes, that's better because when you're stopping the ball, trying to rotate the strike, you will be getting down the bowler's attention, the focus, and that is good for batting side. So, good number of uh, Nepal police. You have done an extremely good job, everyone. Really wonderful. And start the officially play. Oh! And they have taken a quick run. Well, I've joined by Mr. Sachin here in commentary box. Uh, beautiful voice from Nepal. I think the crowd will be happy, isn't it? 32 for three. Young Avinash Bora bowling his first over now. And most importantly, Ejaz, the danger man Tony Ura is out. That's the end of the sixth over. 32 for three. Sundunga Bata, the Yargariku, the best. Saurya Cement. Mero Hero, Super Splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle. Hero Super Splendor. Apollo Paints ko kune bune na jiko store magera. Apollo and man karne ram. Thanos. Jagdamba Super Sign to tha Galva Plus Jasta Pata. Jivan bhar ko barosa. The TV is Bajay RTR 200 4V. 33 for 3. And uh, I think Sony Paul has done a pretty good job. This has been quite state enough. And he is, uh, what a wonderful time when he was batting and 9 bowling. Extremely well bowled. Got 2 wickets in just 4, four runs. You've been interesting early. What form this man is in. He's got this Midas touch today. In fact, in this whole tournament, in this tri-series, Ejaz, two consecutive wickets and that big one of Tony Ura. Yes, and uh, Dipendra Singh is the leading run scorer in T20 this year. He has crossed more than 500 runs. Oh, nearly dropped on. Dipendra Singh already has got the Midas' touch here. Dilip Nath giving it back to the batsman with a bit of Sledging going there. Friendly sledging, I believe. Yeah, that should be friendly because uh, you need wickets. And you know, I think so a couple of wickets here will surely earn them more profit. But you have to trust in the batting abilities of PNG. They can bat down, they can chase well. One, one, one. One, two, and across the line, this can be dangerous. The PNG batsmen will have to be cautious here. Unnecessary, unnecessary this. Well, you have to be more accurate. Yes, there you go. Should be throwing in hands. Don't hit because 
the batter is almost in so you need to be throwing the ball into the wicket keeper saying and Marty in a non striking end fielders in so these these are the small things that uh, fielders should be equipping with at this crucial time goes after it again no connection again inside is again excited to pin the singh ID again yes he's pitching in the right line his line is good his line is good length is good he's just testing the batter and look at that you're just going to get a big one been lucky enough not to drag it onto the stumps plays it onto the onside this time for a single dependent singh ID is bowling really really well here just three runs of his second over and the score is now 36 for 3. Bidis Bata, I am Igareko Paisa, Sida Itapaiko mobile Malina Milch. Aplo mobile Nikalos, I am a pay download Garnos. Anikar Basi Basi, Aplo a comprap the Garnos. Aba, I am Igaro. I am a pay my prap the Garo? Sajile. So Adil Alam will bowl his first over here, 36 for 3. I think Nepal would be very happy with this start they've had. 5.14. Remember, they did not, I believe, get the target, set the target that would have challenged PNG, especially looking at the form they were in against Malaysia. Well, to me, PNG batting well against Pacers. So let's see they, if Adil and Sari can do something extraordinary here. They have got fine leg down, third man is down, long leg in position. Slow one to start with. Hammered down the ground but won't find the fence. Sompal will cut it off. So the crowd now getting behind Nepali ballers as expected. They're enjoying their day's cricket. It's warm and sunny here in Kathmandu. The sun has finally come back. It has been a week of overcast weather. Nadil now balling to Charles Amini. Oh, beaten completely. Carrying on with PNG's idea of balling slow deliveries. The cutters back of the hand deliveries. Yes, I think so. This is the pick of this wicket. Because when you're pitching length deliveries to the batters, I think you will be hit. Slower one, Yorker. That is really a key factor here. And I think so. To win this contest. Oh, he loves himself on that bigger screen. He's there on the giant screen and the celebration is extraordinary. <laughs> and wait and see when the game will be finishing here. And uh, hope that, that will be the best game of cricket we, have, we will see here. Slow run again. Slow run again. He'll have to be careful not to be too predictable. This quicker one will be a surprise delivery through this over somewhere. Adil Alam could not do much destruction with this batting today, but excellent opportunity for him to be amidst wickets. Yes, and Adil has got the abilities and uh, capabilities of being a good all-rounder. He can bat well, really a hard hitter. And uh, to me, that uh, he's run up. His uh, delivery stance, what he's landing, re really been a beautiful. He's a really good medium pacer, can generate some good pace and couple of odd deliveries. Wide signal from the umpire. We'll have to be careful here, Adil. The required run rate 10.56. The current run rate nowhere where PNG would want to be 5.07. But if these two can put up a partnership, they still have a Norman Vanua to come in. Chad Super can also bat well. So still you cannot write off the team of Papua New Guinea. Can you, Ajaj? Yes, uh, not yet. Not yet. Plenty of overs. Slow run again. New piece offered. Has been the best thing to do in this match. They'll come, up, come back for the second run. Clean collection. Maybe would have kept the umpires interested not to be. They're enjoying themselves on the field. And look at this. The crowd. They will definitely make some noise looking at the drone that's flying over them. Beautiful shots. 
You're watching us live on Kantibu TV and our Facebook page. What a wonderful day of cricket this is. The final of the Tri Nation series between Nepal, Malaysia, and Papua New Guinea. Nepal and Papua New Guinea playing the finals, obviously. They will have to be more careful because such kind of things like would it see an extra run in the previous delivery and no as well. So these are the small mistakes that uh, when you're defending a target and you've been making it here. So I think that uh, fielders should be on their toes, but uh, with the presence of mind, they must be supporting their bowlers because if you've been leaking runs, I don't think so. There will be a way to defend such kind of target because run rate is jumping up high and surely at any state PNG batters will try to go big. Again, no pace allowed. This has been the blow for the whole match so far. So that's the end of the first over of Mohamed Adil after 8.42 for 3 RPNG. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Beer this day, gourmet this day. Hey, bhai. This is Haina. This is Alona. Cool bus neho. Sprite puneho. Cool bus neho. Bravo Bank. The reason for your success. Jagdamba Super Sign to the Galva Plus Jasta Papa. Jeevan Bharko Barosa. Jagdamba Super Sign to the Galva. Well and truly up front here. They're on top at this point of time. And crowd. Of what we've been talking about throughout this first Nepal innings and then now in the Papua New Guinea innings as well. And look at this. You don't give me tickets, I'll find myself a better view. Get our cameraman in there. I think that's a better view to watch cricket from. Maybe we need our commentary box there, Ejaj. Yes, but I think so. It's a slight bit of danger because uh, it's a slight bit high and you have to check on the trunk. <laughs> but this kept so low. It was a googly all right from Sandeep Lamizani, but Sese Bao was completely deceived by this low pitch delivery by Sandeep Lamizani. Yes, Sandeep, let's see if he can break something here and they can get a couple of wickets because he has got the ability, the fastest, second fastest, acquiring 50 wickets in T20. This has gone straight up. And well enough for the PNG to get this six runs after a long time. They needed this to break the shackles and Sandeep Lamisane has been treated in this fashion by Sisi Bao. Well, he's a massive under pressure, requiring 10 runs per over. Straight enough, he's gone over aerial over the side screen and getting six runs. This is really a wonderful hit, clean hit to the captain of Nepal. And I think so. It's, it's really a high confidence shot. You can you can sense that PNG ball batters they've been in confidence now. Sunday wouldn't mind this. He's not somebody who'll get boggled down by this kind of situation. And this is pulled very powerfully. Does it have enough? Just brilliant effort by the fielder there. Sunday is disappointed and two sixes in row. It was Adil Alam in the deep. Yeah, this is gone over. I think that uh, the fielder was falling uh, at uh, the fence. A bit of back up length. Asking for punishment. And uh, there you go. And uh, Deepman wicket. Good air bone, but he just crossed the fence. I think they would have not been enough time throwing the ball back and saving five runs. Sand is going around the wicket again. Oh, a sharp turn in this one. 12 runs from the first four deliveries. In fact, 13 runs of the first four deliveries. And this is the drone shot we're talking about. This has been a highlight of the series. TU Cricket Ground in Kirtipur. Inside the Trivon University International uh, the Trivon University. Yeah, lots of bikes, cars. They've been parked alongside. A very, very ambitious appeal. This from Sandeep Lamizani. You'll have a little smile after this. Yes, he does. The ball would have missed even the fifth stump. <laughs> yes. That was way towards offside. 
It was a feel and uh, suddenly he's thought, no, oh, no, but I'm asking here. Really wonderful. This is a big day in the history of Nepal's cricket. Full tap rail. Short again, punished again, but this time the connection not good enough for the ball to sail over. Sese Bao moves on to 23 of 18. It's Charles Amini who took that single, 15 of 11. And that's the end of the ninth over, 56 for 3. विदेश बटा आईएमई गरे को पैसा सीधे ही तपाईं को मोबाइल मलीने मिल्छ। आपनो मोबाइल निकालोस, आईएमई पे डाउनलोड गर्नोस, अनि घर बसी बसी आपनो रकम प्राप्त गर्नोस। अब आईएमई गरो। आईएमई पे मा प्राप्त गरो। सजीले। उदयपुर को सुन्दुंगा बाटा तैयार करिए। From uh, Sissi Bao and let's see if we can back together down to the wire can take this game. To the favour of uh, PNG with two wickets for Dipendra, who batted well, bowled extremely well, seven runs and one wicket from Karan Kaisi. He is uh, the hat trick man in the series. So you can expect here, like uh, this game has been easily balanced, easily evenly poised for the both sides. And uh, let's see when PNG batters will be trying to go ear lifted. And Mark Peter, airborne, play some massive hits. I think it's a time. Well, Devendra Singh already on to his third over now. He's not giving that piece, Devendra Singh ID. He's playing the length also. Comes back in really sharp with his armors. Dangerous for the left handers as it, as it comes back really, really sharp. Oh, goes after it. I don't think it is taken in the middle of the bat. Sompal getting underneath it. Another wicket for Devendra Singh ID. The third to his name. Zombal Kami, yes sir, saying to Dipendra Singh Adi, I've got another wicket for you. Well, the crowd was waiting for this pretty long. He was trying to break the shackles quite since long. Who well, hadn't seen the boundary. So you can jubilate, you can extremely well capped in leg of there. Charles Amini, the big batter, 15 runs goes in now. PNG 56 to 4. This is the way where the wicket fall. Another important wicket of PNG has fallen. Sumpal Kami. Ball was there in the air forever. But eventually held very, very well by Sumpal Kami. And that's the fall of the fourth wicket, just as the partnership seemed to have developed. Papua New Guinea have lost another man, and it's important wicket of Charles Amini. Score is 56 to 4. Come here to see their with team play well. Done that so far. Alongside me is Ajaz, who's come all the way from Islamabad, Pakistan. Has been a wonderful series with you, Ajaz, in the commentary box. This is what they're playing for. Champions of this by Change.net Tri Nation Series. Malaysia went back home. This is a beautiful, beautiful trophy. Representing Kugri, a traditional Nepali weapon. Yes, and uh, almost uh, 15 kg. What has been the weight of this uh, beautiful trophy? And uh, these people, they are really, really worth for what we have been witnessing here. crowd making this buzzing sound making it more difficult for PNG batsmen to concentrate that has been the hallmark of this crowd as I said Ejaz, this is not English crowd this is Nepali crowd with full intensity they love making noise they love backing their own players they respect good cricket as well sensible crowd if you're watching this from anywhere around the world You'll have to say to international cricket, the ICC, please bring back more cricket here in Nepal. We have crowd, we have that support. People anticipate for cricketing events. This is why 
A Monday. This is a Monday, mind you. It's not a weekend day. It's a Monday. It's a weekday. Second day of the week. And you can see the stands jam-packed, Ajaj. That's Nepali cricket for you. Yes, extremely. This has been really a wonderful and a big day for Nepal cricket. And they're just paving their way in the future for the mighty events that ICC has spoken here. Surely be looking on that. But uh, let's see. It's a final game. And so far, this game has been tilting towards Nepal cricket after taking that fourth wicket. But still, you have to be that they have lots of confidence in a batting line of PNG. What we have been witnessing here since this tri series in ODIs, that they're batting second, they've been doing an extremely good job. So, you have to keep your fingers crossed, do some good deliveries, take early wickets. He's looking so vicious with the ball as well. What a series he's having, Devendra Zingaidi here, showing why he is. The absolute superstar in Nepal cricket. Yes, as uh, I've already told you, he's the leading run scorer in current here in 2022. More than 500 runs on the peak, on the top. And uh, as well as wicket taking, I think he's been a brilliant bowler. Last ball of the third over, the Bendersing ID. No run, just two runs off this over and that wicket of Charles Amini. Halfway down the mark, we are 58 for four. And umpires will call for drinks. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. Jagdamba Super Sign to Galva Plus Jastapata. Jeevan Bharko Barosa. Udaipur ko sundunga baata tayyar kariye ko The best Saurya cement Mero hero super splendor Mero hero kati pyaro Aur pani ho la ramro Tar pani mere hero pyaro Pahade ra oho Tar kati sundar ramro Bada bani kati ho kati ho they say the hero super splendor nahi pyaro Ami maatsa hero Before this match, Prarambha, 22 times in a row Sandeep has picked up a wicket. This is turning out to be the longest streak for taking wickets in almost every match. Oh, yeah. Goes across the line again. Riley Hickory not being able to connect and the turn, the amount of turns Sandeep is generating. I don't think that shot is the smartest choice. Taking some risks out there because it's runs that PNG are needing here. Four wickets gone. Comes down the track again. Sandeep Lamizani bamboozling Hegure here. No idea where the ball came from and went. Happens when you're facing a world class bowler. World Cup class leg spinner Sandeep with heaves of experience to his name. Let's have a look at this. Came down the track. There's no way he was going to reach the pitch of the delivery, Prarambha. The Nepali camp should be content at the moment. That's a wide. Two runs off the first three deliveries of Sandeep. The crowd have come in numbers. Papua New Guinea, I think, at the break, at the middle of this match, would, would have been happy with that set target. Oh, he's trying everything now and failing at everything. Says about this time. Tried that switch hit. Failed to make the connection. Sandeep having a bit of chat with his opponent out there, trying to unsettle Says about. Over the wicket this time against the leg, uh, against the right hand, left hander. That has been played on the offside for a single. Sandeep Lamisani was a touch expensive in his previous over, considered two massive six. And Papua New Guinea camp would be worried here. Losing wickets at quick succession has hurt PNG here, despite restricting Nepal, for which we thought was below par score. 
expecting a googly, googly probably not to be not a single googly ball in this over by Sandeep that's 11 gone PNG are 4 down for 61 energy ko store ma gaya ra aflo i man parne ra chhanos mero hero super splendor नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर उदयपुर को सुनढुंगा बाट तैयार करिए को द बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट दिस बाजे आरटीआर 204 वी Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V, engineered to adapt. Come in numbers, as an spectator, as a supporter of Nepali cricket, you'd be pretty happy. Talking about happiness, not there in this camp, the Papua New Guinea camp. They'd be worried, nine overs to go and they need that magic score of 169. The idea here for PNG would be to create and build this partnership to rescue the innings. Six wickets in hand, we know they can bat deep. Oh, hammered it down the ground. Oh, wonderful attempt from Zompal Kami. Could not hold on to it, but that was a brilliant, brilliant effort. Right at the rope. What an effort, though it went for six. Smashed, shot, and that effort almost caught it talk about fine margin Sajin he's a very very athletic lad Sompal Kami what a catch it would have been if he had held on to it Navinash Bora will have to be careful here his team on top yes but 102 from 53 is something achievable this time much more convincing I think nobody anticipated this one forget Sompal Kami straight from the middle of the bat Massive six. Sesapau moving into the fourth gear. Smile from the photographer, Nisa Vandari. She loves cricket, she loves sports in general. And Avinash Bora will have to be careful, as I said. He has to look to vary that pace. He's not a very, very fast customer, Avinash Bora. He can bowl that perfect Yorker. Having given away only four runs in the previous over, this one down the track, uh, down the leg side rather. They run for a couple. There's a chance. It wasn't to be. Avinash Bora has been a real find for Nepali cricket, especially in the past three, four odd years. Sharing a smile, calm looking Nepali fans. They can afford to be calm, but not if Avinash Bora continues the same manner. 6 6 2, considered in this over. Bowling to Sesebao. A quick single in between. This does not look happy out there, Dipendra. He wanted a backup, probably. Saying the same thing, yes. I'd have hit if there was a backup. Dipnath says, you know. Reach to the ball before on five one now the run rate. They were going under five point five for a good four five overs. Eleven eleven point one six is the required rate, but that's pretty much attainable. They can get some boundaries in here. Yoka goes down the ground towards the third for a single. Well, no one one way has yet to come in and with this partnership building now, PNG can still remain confident. Sesipao already into his 40s from 27 delivery. Eighteen runs of this over. Sesipao, the senior pro, now will have to look to anchor his team 
Kente towards the onside. They are picking for the second run. Vedi will come back for the second run. Clean pick up from Karan would have made. The Empire is interested. Not to be though. 79 for four. After an expensive over from Abhinash. Sundunga Bata. Tayyar kariye ko. The best. Saurya Cement. Rangin banao roos afro zindagi. Apollo Pinks ko saath ma. विदेश आईएमई गरे को पैसा सीधे ही तपाई को मोबाइल मा लिन मिल्छ आफ्नो मोबाइल निकाल्नुस् आईएमई पे डाउनलोड गर्नुस् अनि घर बसी बसी आफ्नो रकम प्राप्त गर्नुस् अब आईएमई गरौ आईएमई पे मा प्राप्त गरौ सजिलै भीड त्यस्तै गर्मी त्यस्तै ए भाइ एसी छैन एसी चलाउ न between Bao and Higure. Sandeep will bowl his third. Makes a wicket. A fly hit and Sandeep is unpickable at this point of time. Does not just beat the batsman but also the keeper Dilip Nath. The amount of turns Sandeep is receiving, it's very deceiving for the batsman and his, the keeper as well. Well, <laughs> that sharp turn we got the better of everyone out there. The momentum Sachin now seems to have shifted towards PNG. I agree, the small passes of play this is what happens in D20 cricket. Comes down the track and this should have been a wicket for Shandeep. Instead, it will result in the same manner as the previous delivery. Dilip not smiles at it, but there should have been a better effort. Shandeep knows it. The skipper must be furious for that. PNG crawling back into this game. Riley Hickory doesn't need a bat there in the center. All the scoring is done by by runs. Disappointed Sandeep though. Oh, Sandeep is clearly on top and deservedly he's got a wicket. Yes. Umpire is not enough. I'll raise my finger too, says uh, Sompal Gami. He wants somebody to take a picture of him. Oh, he's quite a character. He's such a character, Sompal Gami. That seems to have hurt him. But a brilliant catch out there. A motionary wicket for Nepal. Right of Kure is gone from six. Six, in fact, from nine deliveries. This was on the cards. He was not comfortable at all. Not picking up Sandeep Lamisani at all, Riley Akure. And deservedly this wicket. This is the 23rd match. Sandeep has got a wicket at least. TV is the RTR 204 V. Udaipur ko tsundunga bata tayyar kariye ko the best Saurya cement Nepal mein navin pravidhi dwara utpadit Jagdamba Super Sign tatha Galva Plus jasta pata jeevan bhar ko bharosa Rangin banao roz aapro zindagi Apollo Paints ko saath ma Mero hero super splendor नेपाल को अति लोकप्रिय मोटरसाइकिल हीरो सुपर स्प्लेंडर प्रभु बैंक द रीजन फॉर योर सक्सेस फाइव डिलीवरीज फाइव विकेट्स इन हैंड्स नोमन बनुआ वर्क्स आउट एट द सेंटर ओह दिस इज अ ब्यूटीफुल डिलीवरी मैसिव अपील एंड संदीप सेलिब्रेट्स अ लेट फिंगर रेज फ्रॉम अंपायर विनय कुमार झा एंड संदीप इज नाउ ऑन अ हैट ट्रिक into completely deceived and that fill placement as well right at the time Nepal piling pressure on Papua New Guinea out here jubilance Sandeep Lamizani has dismissed the most destructive Papua New Guinea batsman Norman Banua let's have a look at this in the replay he's bowling a number of leg spinners in fact all the deliveries have been leg spinners so far not living up to his expectations of bowling to booglies in this inning, Sandeep Lamizani, and he's got his reward. 
sharp turn for Sandeep Lamitsane on a hat trick. The Nepal captain. He plants the field, he will be falling to the new man, Charles Opa, on a hat-trick. Tucked oh, down towards the onside. Survives this time, Charles Opa. Just the kind of over Nepal needed here. 81 or 43 now, still gettable, but Sese Ba will have to play the knock of his life. Norman Vanua dismissed in the very first delivery. I think this is the biggest dent to Papua New Guinea's cause of chasing this moderate target set by Nepal. I call it moderate because this has been a high scoring series so far. Change the field from Sandeep. Sese Bao now moves on to 42 of 28. The best batsman today for PNG so far. Oh, inside edge. Could have easily chopped on to the stump. So a successful over this for Sandeep. Ten runs and two wickets to his name. 13 overs have gone by. Six down for 89 are PNG. Bravo Bank. The reason for your success. Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement Udaipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement Mero hero super splendor Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle hero super splendor Apollo paints ko kunai kunai nanji ko store ma gaya ra apna man parne ram thanu You would have imagined PNG still in the game, but Tony Ura, the big hitting man, is gone. So Chalamini, oh, this was a chance if there was a direct hit. Rohit Portal, it was. Charles Amini, Tony Ura, Norman Vanua, Captain Vala. All of these important batsmen back to the pavilion, back to dugout rather. Charles Sober Charles had joined the most important man so far for PNG. Sese Bao. He's batting at 44 of 30. Well, Sachin, the run rate which is closing towards 12 and over should be of concern for PNG. They simply cannot afford to lose any wicket here. The vanishing ID, meanwhile, is now 3 for 10. He's been a very difficult customer to get away with. The vanishing ID, he scored a 50. The most crucial knock played by Nepali batsman today. Smacked. In fact, finds the fielder. It's another wicket for Dipendra Singh Hari. What an all-rounder. Dipendra Singh Hari now 4 for 10. Easy catch for Adil there. What a match he's having. A 50 to his name with the bat. And he's already taken 4 wickets. Three more deliveries to go. Can Dipendra Singh already collect a fiber here? 54 runs not out with the bat he played and how good a cricketer he is. Takes this another wicket off PNG and deep down into trouble here. PNG. Aipur ko sundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement. Apollo Paints ko kune kune na jipko store ma gaya ra. Apollo man parne ram. Thanu. Mero hero super splendor. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle hero super splendor.
Udaipur. They've been doing it in a wonderful manner. Just three good deliveries. Three wickets of any foul to take this Tri Nation series to their name. And how good this would be for the Bender Singh idea if he can manage one more wicket in this remaining three deliveries. Two deliveries now. He'll get a fiver and a 50. A very well played 50, he'll have to say, under the simple circumstances. Yes, exactly. There was really a tough time for the batters of PNG when quick early wickets were down, and uh, that was the time. And Dipendra Singh, who capped himself in the centre with a massive hitting, as well as some beautiful scoring all along the ground. Tried it, this one. It'll just be a single, and Dipendra Singh already now on to the final ball of his spell. Four for 12. This match is going only one way from here if Sese Bao cannot produce a couple of massive overs. Ah! Goes after it. Has he connected this well enough? Yes, this is a monstrous hit in fact and that brings up 50 for Sese Bao. The lone fighter of the PNG squad. The PNG team in today's match. He does not celebrate it. Flamboyantly, as he knows that he has a work to do. Yes, I'm on it. Don't worry. 14 gone, 98 for 7. Can they slip? Introducing the TV's Apache RTR 204V engineered to adapt. Udaipur ko chundunga bata tayar kariye ko the best Saurya cement Rangin banao los afro zindagi Apollo paints ko saath ma Vidyas bata 57, 110, 54 and now 4 for 20, uh, 4 for 18 A dream run you'll say this is, eh Jaj? Yes exactly but uh, you'll have to keep an eye on Sessi Bao that Oh, he's been uh, playing in the center because uh, he's really a key 51 in just 32 deliveries. This is really a good call. All that uh, numbers will not be a big deal. They need to win this at any cost. But 71 in 36, massive call. This was the first attempt at Googly by Sandeep Lamizhani. It's bold. Conventional leg spinners more today. Has been the hallmark of the spell from Sandeep Lamson. Two for 21. He was on a hat trick as well. Yes, uh, today Sandeep hadn't bowled some of uh, the wrong ones. The googly. He's been more capitalizing on straighter and leg break. Beautiful delivery. Beauty calls my friend Andrew from behind. A leg spinner understands a leg spinner the best. This was a googly. Bowled by Sandeep. Beaten all ends up. Yes, he's making the batter to go forward. And uh, almost there, the back foot was up in. One, one. This is way shorter and way wide. So Sese Bao will comfortably take a single and go to the non-striker's end. Atai and Bao, can they build up a big partnership here? Are we going till the end? Or is it Nepal who will pick up this three wickets in quick succession? succession? I did this time, swept, caught for a single for a moment not to be. Sangi Blamishani, wonderful spell this. And 23 times in a row he's picked up at least one wicket in a match. What a streak to have. What a fantastic bowler this man. The Nepal skipper has bowled tremendously well today especially. This is an appeal. The ball had pitched way outside the line of leg stump, I suppose. Yes, you're right. That uh, pitched down the leg side. But uh, you'll have to give credit to the bowlers. As, uh, we can clearly see pitching down the leg side. Bit of enthusiastic. Trying to put some pressure on umpire, but really well done. Job by the umpires throughout this tournament. Played it again, played on the onside, and that brings us to the end of the 15th over.
and my commentary in this match and series. You'll have a commentary change after this over, after 15, 102 for 7 PNG. विदेश बटा आईएमई गरे को पैसा सीधे ही तपाईं को मोबाइल मलिने मिल्छ। आपनो मोबाइल निकालोस, आईएमई पे डाउनलोड करनोस, अनि घर बसी बसी आपनो रकम प्राप्त करनोस। अब आईएमई गरो। आईएमई पे मा प्राप्त गरो। सजीले। भीड़ तेस्ते, गर्मी तेस्ते। ये भाई, ये सी सही ना, ये सी चलो ना। Uncle, cool bus ni ho. Sprite kyun ni ho? Cool bus ni ho. It'll be a great finish. Yeah, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, Ija. It's great to be with you again for the final time in this entire series. But I'll tell you something. This game is not over until Sese Bao is out. And Sandy Pamachani will be acutely aware of that. So he's turned back to Karen KC from the Pavilion M. Whilst he is still there, there's still a game on. And every time you're watching on at home and wondering why there's no noise, it's because there's runs. And this time, it's six of them slashed away, carved away. Good piece of batting. Too short, too wide. Great stuff from Sese Bao. Yes, uh, too much weight was offered this time. And uh, Sese is just waiting for such kind of bad deliveries. He's just trying to improvise, use the pace, cutting it. And look at that, what the uh, ball has done here over the fence. Six runs, more needed. I can't think of a time, certainly in recent times, where I've seen an atmosphere this good. It's been absolutely outstanding, one of the best anywhere in the cricketing world. It's right here in Kathmandu. This is hit into the offside, and it's taken! Avanesh Bahara, have you just caught the match and the series? Sese Bao, just in a six over the offside. This time, he's holed out to deep extra cover. Sandy Plamachani gives Bow a hug. He says, well batted, that was outstanding. But surely, with it, that's the game and the Tri-Series. Well, they trapped him. Sessi Ball, 59 in 39 deliveries. Previous delivery after, before this, that was also the same shot. Same delivery. And again, they have capped the back foot point. Slight finer more. And there you go, Avinash. Covered a good ground at that deep back foot point. Everyone was watching him. There you go. You can celebrate now. Way down long. So 108 for 8. PNG. The TV is Apache RTR 204V. भीड़ तेस्ते, गर्मी तेस्ते। ये भाई, ये सी सही ना, ये सी चलो ना। अंकल, कूल बस नहीं हो। स्प्राइट क्यों नहीं हो? कूल बस नहीं हो। उदयपुर को सुंदरगढ़ बाटा तैयार करिए को द बेस्ट सौर्य सीमेंट। Apollo Paints को पुणे पुणे नजीक को स्टोर मार गया रहा। Apollo Paints का कैच इट वाज। It's just two good pieces of cricket that the home side are away now. That's going to be a boundary though. Simon Atai and Baggy Morea will come together. Remember Atai has shown glimpses with the bat in this series. This game is not over just yet. Yes, sir. He picked up quite nice and smoothly that delivery. Though that backward point was there, he's just got enough power to cross that. And capped it down. I think that more boundaries like this. You need to trust in the batting abilities of PNG. Still, they can uh, bat down as Athai has shown his batting skills. Sorrowball change of face this time from Karen KC will just be a single. Really think PNG are going to look back at this final as a chase that has just been torn apart by the brilliance of Dependra Singh Iri. But if you look at the scores at the end of the 
16th over. Nepal were only 114 for six. So they're not altogether dissimilar. It's just those couple of extra wickets that are going to be really costly. Karen Casey's late cameo with the bat. I'm not sure there's going to be any jury needed for the player of the match if the home side win. What about defender Singhari? Yes, wonderful. And I already told uh, to the spectators he's the leading run scorer in T20 this year. So I think that he's really a key factor for player of the game today in the big one final. Clubbed into the offside, stand and deliver stuff from the tail ender. He'll get four. Poor delivery that one. He was looking for the block hole, looking for the Yorker. It ended up really as a half volley and might not have been the most technically correct stroke from Maria, but it's effective. And it's his first boundary from his first delivery. Well, when the tail enders, you can expect such kind of shots, like slightly backing away, trying to go somewhere that deep extra cover. And he has uh, managed to go through. So at least a boundary. Really a big over. Wicket is there, but uh, also getting 15 runs. It is two a ball. If there was wickets in hand, PNG would fancy their chances. The problem is they're eight down. Will they be nine down in a moment? Lamachani runs in and he holds on. They are nine down. It was that slower ball from Karen KC and Maria. He just didn't need to do that. Survive that. Give it high. The strike you still have hoped instead. They're on the brink. They're one wicket away. morea has gone. Well, Morea has been uh, deceived here by the pace. He was on four and just two deliveries, but uh, unlucky. And uh, another one goes down and PNG. This is the way. Just uh, trying to get play towards onside. Miss Q went high. Captain comes underneath it. 113 for nine. Nepal ko ati lok priya motorcycle Hero Super Splendor Nepal So six bowlers used so far just one over for Adil Ansari but that's given a little bit of freedom and flexibility for Sandy Flamachani, the skipper. He's brilliant as always. 24 innings in a row now. Would you believe that he has taken a wicket in consecutive 24 innings in T20I cricket? Sampal Kami will come in. And what a disaster for Papua New Guinea. If just one batter could have stayed there with Sese Bao. The big wicket, though, was that one of Norman Banua. The first delivery he faced from Sandy Flamachani. Beautiful piece of leg spin bowling. For now, it will be. Sampal Kami. It's just the number 11 at the crease, and that's Samo Kamea. And he's on strike. The batter's rather foolishly crossed. Simon Atai should have had the strike. But look at this crowd. Have you ever experienced an atmosphere like this one, Ijaz, live in the flesh? Well, this is really a wonderful, extremely beautiful pictures here at Katmando. Dug in, and Atai wants the single. This is going to be it. Is this it? Oh, he's, who's going to run about? One of them is. Sampal Kami is going to take the stump with him. The umpire's finger, I think it's finally gone up. Wide is signalled. And I think that's going to be that. <laughs> A rather ridiculous way to end it. But nobody's going to care. A calamitous run out between Kamea and Atai. And there's your champions. The champions of the SkyExchange.net. Nepal Tri Nation Series powered by Dapa News. It's the hometown heroes. It's Nepal. Oh, what a day. What a day for Nepal's cricket. You're yeah, creating a history here at this very venue. And look at that. That's the way. I don't know that why he has gone down to the batting end. We had a non strike again. Four off the Nepali fielders. They were waiting. And Rohit was searching for the wicket that I have to celebrate. Where is my stump? And there you go. All oh, they're running here on this beautiful occasion. 
Nepal strikes. What a way to end it in the most remarkable of circumstances. I think they were going to win anyway, but a calamitous effort at a single from Simon Atai, who should have been on strike anyway. It was a real error. And what about the emotions, the feelings right there in that huddle? Look at this, Ejaz. Great scenes of joy, not just in the crowd, not just from this capacity 10, 12,000 person crowd we've seen, but great scenes of joy for this Nepali side. They've run out many winners by 50 runs. We felt they might have been just a little bit short, but their bowling and their fielding has been outstanding. And the drone cam has to make sure it avoids up Balkami. There's the Nepali flag, it comes on and it's going to be handed to the team. Very special moments here that will live long in the memory in Kathmandu. Yes, exactly. Really a big day for Nepal cricket and uh, this event organized by Cricket Association of Nepal along with the sponsors at uh, Sky Exchange.net and Dafa News. They should be proud of every moment here that the way these players, they have played a tremendous cricket from the batting, from the bowling, Everything. This has been extremely well played and thumbs up to Ken. Nepali cricket, it is on the rise. Wherever you are around the cricketing world, watch on on these scenes and mark my words, this is a country going places in the cricketing world. It's going to go up the rankings to number 12 after a fifth consecutive victory, go past the UAE. And I'm not sure there's too many cricketing grounds anywhere in the world that you'd have had the kind of atmosphere that we've had here today on a Monday. So look at this. It's not just potential that Nepal has anymore. It's much more than that. It's got real skill, quality, and character within their side. And this capacity crowd that we've seen flood the TU International Cricket Ground, they've had a day to remember. And they've had new heroes born. It was the era of Shakti Gochan and Paris Kadka that took... Nepali cricket to its original heights, but I think this generation of Rohit Kumar Padal, of Dependra Singh Iri, of Kushal Bertel, and of those experienced bowlers, Sampal Kami, Karen KC, Sandeep Lamachani, the captain. Look at this, don't they love them? They're the new heroes that are being born and they're thronging to see them. And there's a reason why the fanaticism here and the love and the joy of the game, it's very real and it's very beautiful, very special indeed. Yes, no wonder these Nepali cricketers, they have laid a foundation here. And they've paved their way towards international cricket. And I think so this uh, ranking will surely lead them at the top level. They are knocking at international cricket in such a beautiful manner. And crowd loving every moment here. Beautiful gestures. These are the ambassadors of Nepal. And uh, they have really lifted themselves well. The great atmosphere here at TU Cricket Ground. Wonderful. Look at that shot there, the Napoli flag being held high around the ground. And who else would it be? Of course, it's Sam Balkami. We miss you, Paris Dye. <laughs> Sam wants a photo with that. Don't worry, he's here. He's up in the crowd, Paris Kadke. And there'll be no prouder or happier man probably in the whole country. He said to me earlier that my time has been and gone. And I just love seeing these young stars go about it. And high fives there, lovely sign as well. I see every wicket of your googly, Sandeep25. Very special moments, these. And just imagine, there's probably a young Sandeep Lamachani or a young Paris Kadka up there in the crowd. They might be seven, eight, nine years of age. And if they're here today to witness this in person, they'll never forget it. And they'll be waiting for their turn in the years to come. There's a fanaticism for the game here. I think it's unrivaled anywhere in the associate world. And to be honest, it would match many of the Test Nations as well. On to bigger and better things. This has been a brilliant series, this Tri-Series. Seven games. We've seen well over 2,400 runs. Some wickets of plenty, hat-tricks, plenty of 50 centuries. The brilliance and the continued emergence of Dependra Singh Iri and Sandy Flamachani bows down to the fans. How lovely is this to see? It's the right thing to do as well, isn't it? They just do everything right, on and off the pitch, these young men. We've got to give them great credit. And there's a reason they're so idolised and so loved here, not just in Kathmandu, but all the way around the country. And everyone tuning in on Cantapore HD TV, 
is going to be laughing up every single second of this. It's been great to be a part of. Yes, this is really a big day in Nepal's cricket history. That uh, they won it by Tri Nation in what a wonderful. And I think so that uh, everyone, like uh, from top management of Cricket Association of Nepal, the players, the batters, the, school, the, the bowlers, the fielders, everyone, and the ground staff here, scorers, everyone has done a great job. Thanks to ICC as well. They've been splendid to this wonderful event here, hosting this in a tremendous manner. Yeah, well, all the credit, I think, has to go to the Cricket Association of Nepal and the, all the sponsors and partners who made it possible. But this is organized by the Cricket Association of Nepal. It's not an ICC event. It's a CAN event, and they've done a brilliant job on it. You see there, Sese Bao was really the only man to get going. 59 off 38 for him. Only other batter in double figures was Charles Amini. And nobody could give Bao any support. That Tony Ora dismissal and Norman Vanua, the two standout batters, really, for PNG in the tournament, both gone, first ball. There you go, Karen Casey taking three wickets and Defend Rossing, the pick of the bowlers. And uh, for my words, he will be the key factor, the key player today. 18 runs, four wickets in his four overs, and two wickets for Sandeep, the captain, chipped in for 25 runs in four overs. What a remarkable record. Sandeep Plamachani is, and there is the tail of the tape. There is the evidence. 50 runs they've ended up defending that total by bowling Papua New Guinea out in no time at all in just 16.1 overs. And you'd have to think that PNG are going to wonder what could have been. They did half the job, but then their batters, when the pressure told the most, when the home crowd were really getting into it, they just were nowhere to be seen. And that was the big problem. Look at that flag flying high. And isn't it lovely, Ijaz, to see smiling faces everywhere. Yeah, smiles around here at TU Cricket Ground. And thanks to the curator who has uh, given up beautiful pitches here. Runs are massive. We saw that we got some cap falling. But uh, what a wonderful time. Well, the curator, if there's one man he deserves praise. It's not just him, but his team. They've done a phenomenal job. The VIPs are getting their moment with the team in front of them. And Adil Alam has got a stump that he's never going to let go of. He won't forget this week. And I think if the gods were favorable, they'd be giving the curator a bit of rain. There's the trophy. It's getting ready to go. They deserve a bit of rain. It's been so dry here in Kathmandu. It's made his achievement of producing such good batting wickets even better. You can see it there, can't you? particularly outside the 30-yard circle. Look at all the fans. Barely any of them are leaving. I'll tell you something. I didn't get to go up there today. The Nepal police said, I don't think it's a good idea. There's too many people up there. If you go up, it could be chaos. It could be the straw that breaks the camel's back. But we'll get up there later. I'm sure we'll enjoy some action. I don't know how where to start. Uh, for me, Andrew Leonard, this has been the most brilliant series. Ijaz Ahmed, your first experience of Nepali cricket. Seven games. Five, five really close ones, including today. Today was a close match for 75% of it. But you'd have to say that really the hosts, they're the worthy favourites. And they were not just worthy favourites, but worthy champions. Yes, exactly. No doubt. No second words. And uh, lots of boundaries have been scored today. Yeah, let's go and take a look at the fours. Fours brought to you by... TVS Apache RTR 200 4B Racing DNA on list. So let's take a look at the fours. Not many sixes hit in this innings. It was really just Sese Bao who got that going, but seven fours in total. One apiece for Legacy Aka and Asad Bala. That really stylish one from CJ Amini. Yes, exactly. They stopped it well. They were very watchful, but hitting well, keeping all the fences really in check but uh, sometimes you have some sort of bad day you've been not been overcoming those losses but uh, to me they have done a wonderful job by hitting those boundaries right underneath of the bat sometimes the luck was there and the boundaries coming up but overall really a wonderful day when PNG was batting yeah plenty of fours came Yen, Bao, Hikore and that one from Tai. 
स्पोर्ट्स ब्रॉट टू यू बाय टीवीएस अपाचे आर टी आर टू हंड्रेड फोर बी रेसिंग डी एन ए ऑन लेस Yeah, so the sixes, believe it or not, they all came from one man. And the reason for that, only two people got to double figures. The first was Charles Amini with his 15. And Cesse Bowes, 59. When he was there, there was still a game on. He hit six sixes. All of the highlights of the sixes are going to come from him. Sixes brought to you by Jagdamba Super Sign. Tata Jagdamba Gyalma Plus Jasta Pata. Here they are. First one was off Lamajani, straight as anything down the ground. He really took the attack to Lamajani in particular. Yes, exactly. I think so. That was the time when you're thinking that Mark B P N G. They're lifting Daniel's feet, but uh, a bit of mix sort of situation at that time. The home crowd, the pot, we can win this. And B N G were batting well. Some chances are dropped right at the boundary line. That's a massive hitting as well. We did see. Clean hitting. We go to a on side. It's uh, on a beautiful shot. Really well played, PNG. Last six over the offside. That slash he was caught from the next delivery. Sixes brought to you by Jagdamba Super Sign. That had Jagdamba Gyalma Plus Josta Pata. The difference between the two sides really ended up being the wicket-taking ability of. Particularly Sandy Flamachani and Karen KC. They were in the wickets again today. But it's no surprise to me that the star of the show, not just with the bat, but also with the ball, it was the man who's probably going to be the player of the tournament, the off spinner, Dependra Singh Ayri. It's brought to you by TVS Apache RTR 204B, Racing DNA on Less. So, first of all, Legacy Aka. This of all the shots was the most confusing. They, they looked like they were just setting a nice platform, and he just chipped it up to extra cover. Yes, you're right. They were looking good at that time, and then the things I think so. It was a time when the wicket was just coming, and Karan KC having the same momentum, same action. What he did at uh, his hat trick in today. This was the time, and the first wicket was here, the second one to go. Just uh, straight enough. In a part has no hesitation. Yeah, that was a big moment. I don't think Asad Vala was too happy with that decision. I reckon it got him in line. The only question for me was the height, but maybe because of Andrew Singh Ayres slightly round arm action, it's actually I thought we were going to get the side on view, but it's the next wicket to fall. That was the very first delivery. Would you believe it from Tony Ora? Was that a rush of a blood to the head? Yes, exactly. And I think so that uh, they were thinking that Murphy will have to go like on a high note. Playing some massive hits, but that's why you're watching lots of catches here. They were trying hard to break the shackles, trying to lift the scorers. That's why they missed you. And again, a, a dismissal. That one of Amini, a little bit of an uncharacteristic shot. He's usually so clever with his cricket, working the ball along the ground predominantly. And this time, he's just held out to some <laughs> Look at the celebrations. That shot was a very strange one. Riley Hakore and. Sampatami had the celebrations out, but wait for the next one. This was really where you felt the game was done. And the reason for that was because it was Norman Vanua, big storm in Norman, his first ball. Look at this, the perfect leg break, a dream delivery, and all Vanua could do was look back at the pitch. And I'll tell you something: we've lost the greatest leg spinner to have ever played the game in the last month, Shane Warne. He would have been incredibly proud of that one. The dream leg spin dismissal, drift into the right-hander, turn away, caught it first slip. Yes, uh, there are no second words. Not the celebration has started by that time, and they were sensing the victory when uh, seven wickets were down. That they can keep it to their favour. Had a way back. The trap was there. Before that, he hit a mighty six. But here, from that delivery, he was caught really well at deep backward point. who just continues to take wickets three more for him today him and Lamachani they just take wickets so regularly it gives the home side a huge advantage a good catch this one actually held he easily could have ended up running into Dilip Nathan Sandeep says it was mine I was never going to drop it see the camaraderie between the sides and here we go here is a winning moment <laughs> you'll never see a winning moment like this Sampal says I want to do it Sandeep says I'll do it and they both do it and all the stumps come out Carnage and Zeus, what a way to win it! They were out champions to mighty celebrations by 50 runs.
Wickets brought to you by TVS Apache RTR 204V Racing DNA on less. Yeah, I think that winning moment is going to end up on social media, isn't it? Because it was so special. And of course, if you're wondering why it was given run out, if they'd broken the bales without the ball, it wouldn't have been out. But then you can hold the ball against the stump, pull the stump out of the ground, and that's still a run out. Obviously, the PNG batter never even tried to get back. But what a day we've had. What a, a seven days of cricket we've had. Seven matches, five crackers. And I think we have to give great credit, just incredible amounts of credit to the Cricket Association of Nepal for having the vision to come and organise this series, bring in all the things they needed to bring in, the ICC, Wendell LeBroy and his team of match officials, and the fantastic work of, of Beer Singh and the ACU team to keep the game safe. And then, of course, all the partners, we see them on the board behind us, SkyExchange.net, Daffa News, the ITW team, who's brought on all these partners, IME Pay, the ticketing partner, and, of course, for the first time, some Holdings and the Levin Sports team taking on a series. They've done a great job, and it just couldn't really have gone any better from every capacity. Great crowds, great cricket, and a great result, the Holster champions. Yes, exactly. And uh, these are opening up the gates for Nepal cricket but different sorts of uh, stakeholders and uh, different sorts of spectators. I think so. a big day in Nepal's cricket history. And one more big shout out, not just everyone who's made it possible here domestically, but the visiting teams, Papua New Guinea and Malaysia. They both played their part, ranked 19th in the world and 33rd in the world. They played their part, and Nepal may have come out as champions, but it wouldn't have been possible without those two as well. So let's get down and hear a little bit more of the post-match celebrations, and we'll see who Paramba's got with him right now. Well, what a day of international cricket. In fact, Nepal winning the match, adding gloss to what has been a great series. Joining me in the middle of the TU Park is a colleague, and uh, let us have a brief introduction of us. This is Chavali Baga. And Shivali, first time in Nepal, how do you like this cricketing atmosphere here? I mean, amazing. Look at the crowd. Still, they're just cheering up for the Nepal team. And they are very, very much into the game while watching the game. And I'm quite impressed by the energy that they have brought in. I'm sure this gave a lot, a lot of strength to the Nepal team over here. And they indeed won by 50 runs. And that's, a, you know, a point which we can uh, look at that is quite a lot it was of course a one-sided game but we have to we have to compliment the Nepal team for their efforts for their performance it was just fantastic Prarambh. so well uh, Chef Ali how about the crowd though look at the craze and the love how do you draw similarities between the crowd of Nepal and India and elsewhere Oh, it is quite similar, actually. Earlier, I didn't knew. This is actually my first time to Nepal. I didn't knew that the crowd here actually loves cricket so much. And it is similar, like um, Indian crowd as well. They were all very excited. They were shouting, jumping. Their flags were high. And they were cheering up for their team. That's impressive to watch. Well, any takeaways from away shots uh, visit to Nepal this time? Oh, I'm looking forward to more such leagues. I'm quite impressed and I'm very happy and proud to be a part of this league. So in terms of cricket, what did you like the most about this series? Oh, today's performance, um, talking about, you know, we'll be uh, obviously, you know, giving away the uh, titles and the awards to the winners and the match winners. But of course, there were a lot of match winners today and the performances were fantastic. And, you know, it gives a platform to all these players, the, the, the few young players as well, to show their talent to the entire world out there. Uh, thank you so much, Sef Ali. We'll now be going back to the commentary box before we move ahead with the official uh, former presentation. Uh, thank you, uh, both Parambra and Shafali. Lovely to have Shafali with us. Nice, pleasant surprise this morning. Just jumped into our car. Let's talk a bit about the, the star performers of, of the series. Ijaz, I think Dependra Singh Iri is going to be the standout, the one that everyone will talk about for not just his 255 runs, but also his seven wickets and particularly his bowling today, four for 18 in the final. But plenty of good performances from all three teams. Tony Ora, very, very good with the bat. Not today, of course. And from Malaysia, probably Ahmed.
घर बनाउन को लागि एक आर्कामा भरोसा चाहिन्छ हैन र भरोसा हुन एक आर्कामा विश्वास चाहिन्छ हैन र विश्वासले दिन्छ हरेक सम्बन्धलाई जुनी भरिको साथ भनिन्छ नि राम्रो सम्बन्ध साथ जुनीको लागि बनेको हुन्छ प्रस्तुत छ जगदम्बा सुपर साइन तथा ग्याल्वा प्लस साथको साथ अत्याधुनिक ग्याल्बुलुम लाइन